we have a pretty big platform. So niggas might come after us. And the thing is, right, people might be weird. Exactly. And try some crazy shit on you just because it's the purge. Like, exactly. Yo, this fucking let's dragon do by his feet by the back of our car. And let's do it. Let's let's record <laughs> and make a podcast with a dead body. Like, no, I don't want that. Bro, Face. If we get the flea to, to, to gather up for the purge, yo, we set, bro. Nigga, one of us is going to die. We in the purge. I'm going to say my man Jakai going to go. Why Jakai got to die, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas said Chicago died, but that's Chicago crazy, might be the bro. First, bro. Respectfully, uh, not respectfully, Chicago love you, bro. But you might just have to be bait, bro. I wow. <laughs> <laughs>
That that mic is on if you want to say hello. <laughs> Damn. No, no, you can do it from the air. <laughs> you don't want to say hi to the people? Yeah, fuck little niggas, man. Right now, shout out to all the beautiful ladies out there. Y'all know who it is. Y'all can hear me, but y'all can't see me, but you're going to forever feel me. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, Big Smooth, Big Black, the chosen one, the only one. <laughs> <laughs> nah. That's a menacing introduction, bro. That was a crazy laugh in the beginning. That's a, that's a good introduction. But, yeah, so... So you said AMC got better seats though? Yeah, honestly, I don't like Cinemark. Really? Yeah, Wait, which Cinemark have... you been to? Not the one at Woodbridge. Not the one in um. That was the only one I've been to. The one in Willowbrook. Mark? I heard it's a new one. Where? Oh, where? I don't know where, but I heard it's a new one. I'm about to look that shit up. You, you ever... said there's one where? Oh, Willowbrook. That's the one with me and Jay go. That shit's fire, bro. But like, is this, is like the price is the same as AMC? Yeah, but I have a I have a Cinemark thing, so every month I get a free ticket. Like Damn. a free movie ticket. That's what I'm saying. Free movie ticket every month. So if you don't watch Wait, movie do you, for two do, months, but do you pay for that membership? It's like I think my mom pays for it. Oh, see, that's why. Bro. But it's only like seven dollars. Wait, how much is AMC's membership? I just got the free one, bro. I just chilling with it. What AMC shit's free? Like the, the stub shit? Well, the stubs is free, and then you got like a premium and all the extra uh, shit. Because I'm saying like if you if you pay for like the shit, I think it's like seven eight dollars a month. I think I do want to get one. I do be going to movies here and there, but only go when it's like a certain movie coming out. Ah, uh, now me and Jay go to movies a lot, bro. I don't, you see, I don't go like that. Like we we go to the movies at least like maybe once a I month. I guess I'm like I'm like a head ass. I got when the popular movie pops up, I'm like oh wow, now I'm. No, so you don't like going to like the like the um, I mean we go to popular movies too. Like I like we don't watch like the the weird ass movies that just be like there. Like uh, like the like did you watch well, Indiana Jones? Like, you watched that? No, I didn't. No, I ain't seen. Okay, that. I was about to say. I right, watched like, what's other movie? Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer? No, I never watched that. You watched Barbie? I did watch Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I think I what I did watch Barbie. Yo, was it good? It was good. It wasn't that bad. It was very. It was crazy though. Was it cringy? It wasn't cringy. It was like degrading niggas. Shit was crazy. What you mean? Shit was crazy. I heard the oh end- shit. <laughs> I heard the I heard the ending was like sad as fuck though. I don't remember what the ending was. What was so that? Ending? Shit was ass there, bro. If you want oh no, no. I think the ending was like she went into the real world, some shit like that. So it wasn't that bad. That's what it was. Yeah, she just went to the real world. Man, what kind of shit? What caused that sad, bro? I don't know. It was some shit. But did you like that Saw movie? I did. And you know what's crazy? We're spoiling it, by the way. So if you're watching this, you can just skip to the next segment, whatever it is. I'm very, like, weird with Saw movies because the previous ones, I've seen clips and shit. I'm like, yo, that shit is... It is nasty. OD. It is really disgusting. I'm like, bro, if I don't like that shit in my phone, in my hand in front of me, how the fuck I'm going to feel in the, in the movie theater? But it I wasn't... Was chilling. The goriness wasn't too crazy, though. It wasn't. I thought it was going to be... Whoa. The worst one? Which one was the worst one? Loki, that dude, when that dude died, that nigga Mateo died. When the beginning? When nah, the first when a, one? Nah, when the nigga had to cut his head open. And I take don't think that was that bad, honestly. I ain't gonna hold you. I think he got a really, really easy out of everybody. Nigga honest. had to cut his head well, open. Well, besides the white girl in, in, at the, in at the, the beginning? End, at the end. Oh, nah, that wasn't that bad, though. She didn't even die, did she? That's what I'm saying. She didn't die. Oh, she was the worst one of everybody, and she literally Lived. got it. The easiest out of everybody. Unless she's just gonna go to jail or something. No, shit. she's just gonna be stuck in there and, I guess, just die. Bro. With her head stuck like that. I mean, that's kind of crazy, but still. I don't know. She got it easy. Who got the worst? I, bro. I, don't say... You think it's the, the the beginning girl? Like, the first girl that got a, had to cut the leg off? Yes. That's not that bad, Come though. On, bro. She, he literally cold, cut dude. his head open and had to take a piece of his brain out. That nigga... If he takes the wrong piece, the nigga might turn into another person. He might turn into the dog. Bro, you right, bro. But still, I don't know. That leg shit looked the crazy. But, like, even though, like... Like when she didn't even make it and she died, she just got a head cough. The nigga literally got cooked. His head got cooked like a grill, bro, like a burger. But no, 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 because he said when it's cutting your neck, you're gonna feel it going, like level by level by level. Oh, uh, you nasty. don't just feel it go. I know that is gotta. He said you hear, you feel that shit going. Eh, 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 eh. But it like the nigga got his shit closed like nah, a grill. Ain't. They violated her though. They violated her really crazy. I feel like because. She did all of that shit for her leg. Well, they both did a creep. I don't know, bro. And it's not like you just had to lose a leg. It's like you had to get the bone marrow out. That shit was nasty. I was like, oh, that shit was disgusting. What the it's, fuck? It's the way he made her do it, bro. <laughs> With the damn... Uh, Loki, that one girl had the easy shit. Well, when I was hanging? Yeah, she just had to break... No way. She just had to break her hand. Bro, it's the fact that she had a fucking... A fucking uh, a oh. heater in front of her. Oh yeah, no, she's getting cooked. cooking her. She's getting cooked. <laughs> that was bad. 
But still, though, it wasn't like she had to lose. She just got broken hands and, like, ankles. That's nothing too crazy. And then the bitch killed her. I'm not going to hold you. She could have been lived. What? She should have broke the hand first. Why? No, if she would have... Oh, she would have dropped. She was going to drop regardless? Oh, yeah. So the, the, she the just, lady set her up, bro. I ain't going to hold you. She did set her up. Because freaking... Because she... I think she knew that freaking um the nigga was here. So she was just trying to buy some more time. I don't know, bro. That shit was kind of... But, like, you got to understand, bro. I be saying this all the time. Villains are not really bad guys. They just really... Bro, I was thinking the a whole movie. Bro. I was like, hold up. It's he's, a superhero movie, cuz. He's not a bad guy. He's just... No, the whole movie started. They violated him. Oh, yeah, they, they did him dirty. Like, man, man, seeked out help from you guys. And y'all just... <laughs> took That's his, what I'm saying. He just took his money. They took his bread and made him think he cured him from cancer. That's, but really, that's wicked. That's wild. And then, and, and then you make a, you feel bad for the nigga. I like how they did that. It's like I kind of felt bad for the old guy, bro. This like they literally just sti- they just open you up and then you just stitch it back up. They didn't even open them up. They had just like the, they had like a like the video playing in the background to make it seem like it was like a camera, and like he noticed it. He was like, "What the fuck? I didn't know there was a camera." But then that's why they had to turn the the, the monitor, and oh, they, he was so just wait. Oh, he wasn't so even never, touching him. They never opened his head. No, up. he was just going like this. He was literally just they doing just this. They just drugged him up. Yeah, he just drugged him up and made him think like it. So that's what I'm saying. He just took his bread, and then even that one guy, the that Australian guy that was in the beginning, that said he had the thing on his neck. He was part of the whole shit. What do you mean the Australian one? The one that came at the end. That was like he came to help. Oh yeah, and the, like the whole time, bro. So they Gosh. honestly deserved it, bro. Oh and no, he 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 really just did himself dirty. I ain't gonna hold you. And it's like they weren't. It's not like he's killing them. He's giving them the option to live. But it's like, at what cost are you gonna live? That's what I'm saying. He ain't really a bad guy, bro. Nah, they was doing some wickedness. They honestly all deserved it. Oh nah, it was so bad. Nah, then that shit had me sad. They about to violate the kid, bro. I was like, alright, bro. But then he got deserved, some bread. I was like, you deserve the worst death, bro. That's what I'm saying. They could have just left. And then he let her live. I don't know. She might be in jail. Nah, she go. Yo, she's ne- in the next movie. That's wild, right there, bro. There's another movie. He gotta die. I mean, he's gonna die, and then the was it the daughter or something? Oh yeah, because then the end. Did you see the after credits? Yeah, with, yeah, the, with the black dude. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I didn't know he was in on it too. I was like, damn. Yeah, that's fucked. See, bro, he was living. He was just in, he was miserable, miserable by himself, bro. And you had to kill him and fuck his whole shit up for no what reason, bro? Exactly, bro. Like you, like he had to. It's like, it's like freaking. I don't even know how. So you think he was faking it from when they was in the beginning? Remember they was yeah, all that cancer? Yeah, he said uh, you never had this. He, he fake. He, like, Not even the scars. I'm talking about, remember he was in the cancer group? I'm assuming he had to fake all of that look, shit. Look, think about it. I, he think, was, I think they were all going after him. Because I think because the lady said she knew who he, who he was. I think he knew who he was when she sent the interview, like the, the paperwork. In. But I think that black dude goes to all like the little cancer groups to recruit niggas. Well, that's... Devious way. Like recruit people To go bring him over And then he walks by And be like Oh yeah look I got saved Oh that's wild I ain't gonna lie That's crazy You think that shit Happens in real life for real Probably does bro That's sick But like they probably Just take your organs And be like Yeah bro you good now Like that's the worst Type of deed to do Like you can You can finesse niggas Like you can he do He did it to cancer people bro Cancer patients is wild <laughs> I mean I, no. That's why he got a low key He got it really bad At the end Oh yeah he did well, I, don't know, I don't know what that shit was It was like I think it was like Digging at his Torso Yeah that shit's crazy bro Like it was like this And like It's probably gonna like Start digging And like cut the bottom off Basically just gonna Keep scratching him Yeah That was disgusting bro I didn't think There was no end credit scenes I didn't think That's it was... basically Letting us gonna be Another movie Really Now nah, I'm gonna go see that one Now nah, I'm How go many see saws that. are there There's like well, That's the I, fifth one That was fifth But like there's like Jigsaw movies That's like not the guy But it's like People that are like So it was like Canon or non-canon Type of shit Nah it's like it's not the guy doing it, but it's like people who are inspired by that guy to do mm. that because he doesn't. He's not. A, he's not like a serial killer. He just kills people who who deserve, do, it. Who deserve it, and he just does it in a very in, inhumane yeah, way. Yeah, he, he said, "I don't kill them. Exactly, they I don't touch themselves. the lever. You do it yourself. It's like you could choose to do this." See, that's old, bro. Hey, bro. Wait, why? I didn't know why they. So got, hold up, be real. Is that considered? No, that is murder. It has to be. Maybe manslaughter, but like tech in technicality, he's not, he not even doing. He's he, not doing nothing. He's just putting them in that position. Nah, bro. it has to, that. It has to be like something called like torture. I don't think it's murder, but it's probably like torture or something like that. Also, uh, nah, that's like first degree murder. Old D. <laughs> old D. Maybe know. third. Nah, that's first degree. He didn't do nothing. You're setting them up for failure. You're literally. <laughs> they have no way to go. For their first fucking step, they activate the trap. I know. Like the first guy when the when he had to cut the the 
pipe survived. bombs out of his arms. He, he survived. did survive. That shit was nasty as fuck. I know. Fuck. I don't think I would have done that. I probably would have exploded. I would have just probably went. You would have like, exploded? I would have went like this and hopefully it didn't hit my hands. Hit Yo, my I, head. I thought he was going to cut his whole arm off. Nah, there was no way. He had like little blades. I think it looked like he had like the little Edward Scissor hand. I thought shit. he was going to cut his whole shit off and just be like. Oh, that's so nasty, bro. That shit was disgusting. That lo- nah, that might be uh, honorable mention right there. Honorable mention most disgusting. But now, like, why did they get him though? He didn't do nothing. No, nah, he was on. He was in. He was. In, in, he was a taxi driver. Yeah, but he knew he they was. He was sending people to like probably like oh, a fucked up camp or something. Really? He that's, probably didn't know what they was exactly doing, but he knew he he was. That's sending ass. Them. That's oh, so the only nigga that wasn't involved is like that old guy in the sun. Yeah, I guess. Okay, that's not too bad. Dang, bro. I thought that guy really girl was gonna make it. Oh yeah, I thought so too. And then she, they got her, they got her done up. No, nah, they did her. I didn't wild. think she. I, I thought she was innocent. I'm like, damn, why the fuck you get her? Like, oh no, nah, she a crackhead. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, the other girl was like feeling bad for her and shit. She was like, just let her, just shut up, and I'm a gut, and I got you, bro. I know, like that's why she had the easiest one. That was the easiest one. But the one, that one lady fucked up because if she would have just broke her hand and fell, she'd have been good. Because they, that shit can't lower down. That shit just turned this way. So they did give her the easier trap. Yeah, I think they gave her. The easy, I think he did feel bad. Because like she was, I don't think she was really lying for real, but she was like she wasn't she wasn't like a doctor. She was just like the person that owned that owned the crib. Just finessing that bread, bro. Yeah, she was just there. Like she was just like the caretaker. She wasn't like like the two the two other people. They was like actual doctors. I feel like the next movie is gonna be pointed towards the that do- nigga trying to look for her father. Either that or the daughter's gonna do it, and the nigga's gonna be like, he's gonna show up as the nigga dead already. Cause he only had like a month to live, bro, like two, three months to live. He did say, he said he didn't have no more than three months to live. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know what else you could possibly do for that. Mm. But hey, bro. DLC for the movie, basically. Nigga said the DLC for the movie. But all right, so now since we watched that, I got a question. So, would you rather try to survive one of those traps from Saw? Any trap? Or is this a random one made for you? Or. Survive in a neighborhood for a night against Michael Myers. Well, that's actually OD. I'm not doing that 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 trap shit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but you're literally getting hunted by Michael Myers. That's a night. I think I could get out of there. But like that nigga be doing wild shit to people. I know, but it's a whole neighborhood though. Wait, you just escape one night with him, bro? Just one night. Just twelve hours. I think I'm going to do that night with him, bro. Because think about it. First of all, those traps he gives you is three minutes. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, I got to think about it. I got to think about it now. Because if it was that one trap, if it's like if it's a if it's a trap where it's not too crazy, I think I could do it. But if it's like where I got to cut my limbs off or something like that. Mm, you would kind of lost me there. Nah, not because I... I the neighborhood? I, I, could, I, I could do the neighborhood with Michael Mars. What's your, what's your plan? I'm just ducking that nigga, bro. You just running through the cribs? Just just trying to do parkour around him, bro. You got you got one knee. <laughs> nigga said parkour. What the fuck you gonna do? You gonna jump around what the think I'm gonna try to survive one of them fucking them traps for three minutes. Oh no, I'm not I'm not I'm just wondering where your head's at. Well, I, if I get preparation, then I don't think you could prepare for that nigga anyways. No, no, no. Preparation for the saw trap. Like what? Nigga, like, you just got met honestly. What they had Nah cause look This is what was fucking them up They were activating the trap And then they were like <sighs> For like fucking, know, that's what For I'm like saying. 25 seconds And then they want to Begin that shit You, you just gotta, gotta that go shit from, the, from the jump See that's the That's the issue You can't hesitate bro For three minutes <sighs> Three minutes Nah I'm still I'm still not doing that I'm doing the I'm doing 12 man. I'm doing 12 I think <sighs> He's not fast He teleports bro That's not fair Exactly, but still, he's not he's not catching me though. I'm doing the night. If, if it's like this, if it's like my neighborhood with like the cul de sac and shit, I'm just gonna be damn. Where I'm and, gonna he, be. and he probably not. He probably might end you quick, low key. But it might be very brutal though. Like just strangle me. Nah, he might like stomp on your fucking. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. I don't know. He he did a lot of people dirty. Like he might he might fucking grab a rake and just stick you to a wall and leave you right there. If I'm in an open area, I think I'll be cool. I'm not gonna be in the crib. I think crib is a, is a bad place. That's what I'm saying. Like well, any, open area is bad too, because I feel like he got fucking like like fast ass fucking. But still though, like fuck. he's not. I don't think he. I think he just pops up in random areas. I don't think he can. He running for real. So, so you, 
He does He does walk very slow. That's what I'm saying. So I don't just be around in the like, open so area. So what I would do, I would just keep running back. Like backpedaling fast as fuck while keeping my eye on this motherfucker. Nigga said, you're gonna fall. Nigga's gonna fucking fall. I got got like got a shuffle, bro. <laughs> I gotta get a defensive stance, bro. Nah. They're not living. <laughs> defensive stance is so bad, bro. Bro, you can't bro, you can't turn your back to him, bro. Cause you just, once you turn your back and turn back around, he's vanished. Okay. 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 You can't do that salt trap. You think you think he's the most OP like a uh, Slasher killer in the movies? I believe he is, but but uh, Freddy Krueger's like, I don't know. I think he just got that cheese where he could really just be in your mind. But it's only if you're sleeping, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if you just awake for, like, as long? I mean, you got to sleep eventually, though. I don't know, bro. You saw that nigga Jason couldn't. He had to, he had to go to sleep eventually. I guess. I guess. But then bro. he finessed him. That's what I'm saying. That nigga, if you can finesse a nigga that can, that can literally go into your mind, that nigga can type mid. Bro, he got fucking, what's that shit called where you fucking can control your dream, bro? What? Oh, uh, um. That's what he Lucid did. dreaming. Yeah, that's basically what that motherfucker did, bro. That nigga controlled the dream and just killed the nigga in there? That's basically what he did. Hey, bro. I think Michael Myers is not, nah, because it's Jason too. And they're like the same, in my opinion. What? I feel like Jason, Jason's Jason just a smaller and, version. Cause they're like both on some on some on some devilish shit. But I don't think Jason is like Michael Myers, like Oct though. I mean that motherfucker's been in space though. Jason was in space. Yes. For what? He was in space. I swear to God. Wait. There's like a whole movie where he's in space. Niggas got bored, didn't they? I believe they did, bro. What movie was this? What was um, it called? I don't know. I think Jason in space. I swear to God. Jason in space. See, nah, there's no way, bro. Jason, Jason in, in space, bro. What the fuck? What you doing? Hey, you're still my episode. <laughs> oh, my fault. I, I think yeah. I, I'm, I'm watching the epi. I'm saying. <laughs> Nigga's weird, bro. It's called Jason X, but he's in space. He look beyond the scenes. Look like a motherfucking Terminator. When did that come out? This shit came out motherfucking 2001. 2001? Nah. Wait. How, wait. how much Ron Tomatoes that shit got, bro? That shit is definitely ass. That shit's rated 19. 19%? Percent Rotten Tomatoes. I think that's ass. I believe that is ass. I think that's really bad. <laughs> Cause it got it? 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10? Okay, okay. But all right. Now, I want to talk about that because I had another question to ask you. So say so say all these slasher killers were on an island, like Hunger Games style event. Last one to live wins. Which one will come out on top? It's Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy Krueger, Pennywise, the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers, or Slenderman. Who do you think is going to win the last on the island? Damn, you know, that man Jeepers Creepers could fly. I heard he could fly. And I heard... Which is very useful for doing some Hunger Games shit. I know. But I feel like Slenderman is low-key cheese. Because... I, I he has like all them little magical ghostly telekinesis whatever the fuck where he can pop could, up in places and he can pop up in places and he can just like shape shift all that shit but Pennywise could also shape shift like I feel like the top three would be the creep oh yeah I forgot he can do that and he can fuck niggas minds up the the first three niggas out Jason Mike, Jason and Michael Myers Loki gonna be out of there cause Michael Myers is strong as shit like that nigga Loki yeah Jason Michael Myers gonna be Jason gonna be first Michael Myers gonna be next and they Loki kinda dumb that's what I'm saying. Freddy Krueger, unless niggas fall asleep, he gonna be out of there. That's the only way, bro. He could also do... I heard he got like... I think it's only in his dreams he got powers. He could really be really like dangerous. Uh, really? I don't know, though. Because I think... I really just think that Freddy Krueger is just... A man with a fucking... Whatever that shit is. Yeah, with, with just like the little claws. I feel like he really is not gonna do much. Like, especially... Especially against these three he, niggas. He, he dead as needs to wait for niggas to go to sleep. That's what I'm saying. I feel, like, I feel like you can't do that with Pennywise because Pennywise is like... He's just... like that's what, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he's low-key. He go to sleep, bro. That's what I'm saying. I think he's like a demon, too. That's what I'm saying. So it's either between Pennywise, the Creeper, and Slenderman. It's either those three. Jeepers Creepers might have to get out of there. But what... All right, so his power is like... Even if he, he can regenerate his body, but by But he's eating, strong as fuck, too, I think. That's what I'm saying. 
Damn. I'm gonna have to go with. I'm gonna have to go with Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Low Creepers. Key. I might go with Slenderman just for the fact I think he could like mind control niggas. But like I don't know what he could really do to harm you though. To harm. That is true. He could probably just get away really fast. So I'm saying I seen Pennywise. I don't know. He just did some weird shit to people. He just Pennywise just made you think that you're like somewhere you're not or like you're yeah. somebody you aren't. So I think I mean he could do that and just like make well, you like fall off a cliff. He, he eats people, I believe. Pennywise? Yeah. So who do you think is gonna be in the finals? Like the last two. Pennywise and Jeepers Creepers in my Pennywise opinion. and Jeepers Creepers. I'm only dishing t- Slenderman because I don't know. He just seemed ass to me, bro. He just he just be he's not just some re- tall lanky motherfucker. Okay, bro. okay. That just be like this. So either Pennywise or Creepers. Ah, right, you know with those two, I'll pick Creepers. I'll but pick Penny, Creepers. Pennywise is because he got that. He got his own realm, bro. What? Like where he got people floating and shit, bro. What's that shit called? I forgot what that shit was called. I don't know. He just said we all float down here, bro. <laughs> Wherever that is, bro. <laughs> I'm about oh. to go with Jeepers Creepers. All right. He got them little daggers too, bro. He might yeah. fuck him up, bro. And don't he eat people too? Eat their eyes. Mm. But like, I heard of like, you eat, they eat, eats niggas and like, they, he like, like say he like broke his arm, he just eats an arm and that shit regenerates or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So. He do be regenerating. So I guess. Pennywise was like, what he did, I remember the movie, he like took the girl's soul or some shit. Which, wait, was that the first yeah, one or the second one? The first one. Which, what girl? Um, Wait, the first first one? Yeah. Oh, like the original one. No, oh, the, ta- the, the one we saw in the theater. Oh, bro. oh, oh. Which girl? Which girl um, are you talking about? The, the, only, the only girl that was in the group. I can't remember her face, but I think I know what you're talking no, about. No, I'm talking about though, the only girl. Yeah. She, I guess is when they he kidnapped her and they went to go rescue her. Oh, yeah. And, and then, then she was like in that She little... was like running around, whatever. He did yeah. that dancing shit, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he pulled up to her and then he said, he looked in her face and... He made me open his mouth and shit. Yeah. All right. You know, I think. What if I, you do that to Jeepers Creepers? Nah, Jeepers Creepers could fly out of there. Yeah. Just because he could fly his own. He's strong as shit. Let me mm. get into Creepers, bro. He got that, bro. All right, bro. He went to them Hunger Games, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. for him, bro. He got that aerial defense, bro. All right, all right. He moved real tack. And he fast, bro. Mm, all right, all right. But, bro, he a, move, he a flying tank, low key. Low key. No, look at this nigga, bro. <laughs> I wish y'all could see this <laughs> shit. This nigga's just out here just being weird. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? You leaving? Yeah, I'm about to go pick up time. All right, bro. Be easy, bro. Oh, yo, say goodbye to the fans before. Man, fuck all y'all dumb ass niggas. Yo, go on the mic, bro. They can't hear you, Man, bro. Man, fuck y'all niggas. Nigga, no regulars up, nigga. No regulars. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, get the fuck. You low-key match the chair. Yo, you do. <laughs> oh, I'm about to say something I can't say. Yo, get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. Says, y'all match. <laughs> He's sick, bro. But, so, oh, I want to talk to you. Yo, I seen this the, I seen this on TikTok or on Instagram. They said by the year 2040 that we will be able to, they're, they're creating, like, cribs on the moon, like, bases on the moon. So, by the year 2040, it's going to be for, like, astronauts and, like, some uh, citizens or civilians. Well, for more, like, uh... No, like, to live. To live or to, like, do experiments and shit? I have no clue. I'm pretty sure they're going to do, like, experiments. Because you got to think about it. Like, they said... Because I think India was the first country to make it to the other side of the moon. Yeah, I heard it was, like, a... It was a, another place that just went out there recently, right? It yeah, it was, like, a big-ass, like, a... They went out... I think it was, like, a month ago. But nobody knows what happened. Like, no, they didn't say, like, what they found back there. Like, they just said, like... They went back there and they yeah, landed. We went there. That's like, it. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like, what did you find back there? Like, cause that's the, cause you know the moon only goes like this. Like, it don't rotate like us. So we see the same side of the moon every day. Moon every day. You know that, right? We do. Yeah, we say that we like our moon. Like the moon doesn't rotate like this. Like you know how we spin. It just rotates with us. Yeah, it just goes like like say we're moving. It just goes like this. So like the backside, we don't see the backside. We're moving. The moon doesn't. Yeah, the, we're moving like this, but the moon just stays like like this. That's so crazy. nobody ever been on this side of the moon before. So that's kind of that's weird. But like so, wait, they made it back though, right? I don't know. They didn't say nothing. Nobody said nothing about. It. So like, I'm I'm wondering if they did. I remember that one motherfucking movie where they went to the dark side of the moon. You talking about Transformers? Nah, I think it was a movie called Apollo, but it was like a yeah, scary, yeah, 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 and yeah. Like monsters on the other side. What if they found some shit like hey, that? Hey, bro, I'm just saying, I don't know. But they said they said they're they're by twenty twenty forty. So that's like about what seven, maybe a little more than fifteen years from now. They're gonna we're gonna be able to live on the moon. 
Because they're going to use it as like, you know how we have space stations? I feel like I'm going to be like fucking 50, 60 niggas going to be up there. They, I'm not going up there. Oh, I'm not. I'm not doing that. But like, I would assume eventually they would need like a fucking moon base though. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. I would think they would have one by now. But like, hey, 2040, I guess that's like 100 years since we... Hey, imagine, years. imagine you actually working to get up there. Imagine the bread. That's that's. I mean, niggas, I, I think it's like... Millions, it's definitely tens of millions of dollars. I thought like they're not even gonna pay motherfuckers. I thought like they want motherfuckers to volunteer. I mean, the astronauts are gonna volunteer. It's gonna be like a new space station or whatever. Like you know, because you know the but space like, station is located like, not in space. But like, how fucking, how long are you gonna be up there for? Just like, like, just like, cause like, just like how niggas are in space right now, it's just gonna be like that. So they probably be up like six months at a time. Six months is crazy. Hey, I don't know. Them niggas be up there you for a while. Need to up on them. Tons of food. Mm, hey, they got the they got the astronaut food. I guess they just stu- they just stuff it up. Shit. But I'm glad you brought up that movie, bro. You that Apollo movie? Cause I remember you. I think you sent me some shit a while ago talking about like uh, the Apollo missions. So you know you know about the Apollo missions to the moon, right? I know some of them. So like the one that we all know was Apollo 11, and that was the first time we made it to the moon. That was with Neil Armstrong, all them people in like the 60s or whatever. I swear this shit motherfuckers were like... Eh, yeah, that's look. why they look kind of weird. But before that, like th- there was tests before that. Like the Apollo missions, there was like... Inst- it was like they 1 said, through 10. They sent monkeys and shit. They, I, know, I, I don't know if they sent monkeys, but... No, they might have sent monkeys. But like some of them like didn't make it up there in time. Didn't they send dogs too? Yeah, they sent a the dog. That's but funny, that was like bro. Apollo something else. But people say that like... I think Apollo 13, the mission went bad. And that, that's when the shit exploded. I think. What you mean? I think there was like a the shit that was going up, but it exploded. Like that's where like the teachers were and shit on it. It was on TV. That shit like, poof, like exploded. That like, shit went up in flames. Yeah, like before it even got to the shit, and like so, so that shit blew. I shit blew up what like mid mid flight, like in the like towards mm-hmm. going towards that shit. Yeah, and it was. They said that so the Apollo mission stopped at Apollo seventeen, and the reason they don't say why the reason is, but they think the reason is because like it's getting too dangerous to get up to the moon. But supposedly, so they, a, never, so they never done Apollo eighteen. Nah, supposedly they did missions like secretly to get to the moon because they found something. So like during missions, like Apollo missions fifteen through seventeen, like fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, the astronauts went to the dark side of the moon and they said they took pictures of like a craft that they found on the other side of the moon and they didn't know what it was. It was like an object or whatever. And they said they stopped it at seventeen, but then eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's when they went up there to try to retrieve that, um, that uh, whatever it was, whatever that the craft? artifact was. It's it's either a, I think it was like a object or like a craft, and it had like hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics on it. Like there was pictures that they took supposedly, but Apollo nineteen disappeared. So they, well, so they did it, but there's just no evidence of it. Like they didn't, they they don't know what happened, but they said Apollo nineteen went up there and they never like came back. They just disappeared. So that's why Apollo twenty. Went up there, and there was a guy. His name was um, his name was fucking. Oh shit! I hope I wrote this nigga name down. His name was William Rutledge, who was a, a, apparently a part of Apollo twenty to go save the niggas from Apollo nineteen. Well, to like to go check it out, retrieve whatever to, to retrieve that artifact and to see what happened to the Apollo nineteen crew. But but like how long how long out after that next mission did they did they? It was like every it was like a couple months. Like month, like six months in between trying Man. to get back up there. But like they don't know what happened. Like they said, like just all transmissions was lost and they just like disappeared. And like people like he he wrote a book about it. So he went so what happened when he went up there? He says supposedly that they, he seen it, but he couldn't they couldn't find like the other people. Like he couldn't find no wreckage, he couldn't find nothing. So he's just like, you know what, F it. They just they just decided to just go back down and act like nothing happened. But like those like from seventeen like we only know seventeen, but eighteen, nineteen, twenty is like secret. And people he has proof. Like I think he wrote a book about it or whatever. But people think it's fake because like nobody believes. Like, yeah, I mean I would assume why nobody believes that shit. But just imagine because you gotta think about it, right? If we ever, if there was something on the other side of the moon like that, you would you would think it's. Gonna like beat her, especially, especially if you did a, a mission out there. You're like, all right, if the motherfuckers are dead out there, their ship should at least be in up there. there. That's what I'm somewhere. saying. And it's like, it's weird because Apollo 11, we just landed on the moon, just like, all right, fine. But then it just kept, go- I didn't know there was more missions after that. Like, I didn't know it went to 17. I didn't know we got like six more missions up there. But all I know, all I know is, or oh, supposedly what happened was that 15 through 17, they found something. 
And from 18 to 20, they tried to retrieve it. And then 19 went missing, trying to retrieve that artifact, whatever it was. Mm. Maybe the, maybe there is an alien base up there. And that's what's, that's like, imagine that's like the, the watchtower for the aliens watching over the earth. With the motherfucking moon? Yeah, the moon is I mean, now that now that you actually like told me like that shit, like never, we never see the dark side. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You never see what's on the other side. So there could be something back there that we don't even know what it is. Because honestly, I don't see where we just need to go around that fucking moon and have a big ass gigantic flashlight just beaming at that shit. How the fuck are we gonna get a flashlight? <laughs> where the fuck are we gonna get a flashlight that big, cuz? <laughs> Bro, if you could fucking create big ass bases, I'm pretty sure you could create a big ass light that could fight you. <laughs> Bro, it only gotta be a big ass, like, cover the whole shit, just. Just, just like just a like, beam? Just a beam, and then you just going around it and. I mean, I feel like the, the moon, like, that shit's probably like, that's a big ass light, bro. Like what you if might, like the gravity's different on that side? Like it's like oh because it's dark and it's not having mm. I'm assuming not pool and stuff like that. Nah, I, I feel like it would be the same though. Nick would. I think it would be. I just think it would be colder. Probably a lot colder over there. Freezing in that motherfucker. It's already freezing up there. That's man. what I'm saying. And I heard like I heard a lot of shit about the moon. Like I heard they said there's like traces of like water on there somewhere. Yeah, there's like I think it's fro- frozen water. Frozen water on the moon, and there's like there's like giant craters on that motherfucker. Wait, so deep, wait, hold on. I just realized. Those motherfuckers sent rovers up there, I would assume, right? I don't think so, no. There's no rovers. There's only rovers on Mars. Why wouldn't you send rovers on the moon to go to the other side? I'm pretty sure that shit would be good. Exactly. And live stream that motherfucker, bro. But, hey, they got they hiding something. Oh, all right. They definitely did it. Just say that there, bro. Hey, that's what I'm saying. There might be, like, if there's aliens, there might be back there. Who knows? Wait, so you saw them little shit they they recently just uh, revealed, right? The little um, aliens? Yeah. What do you think about that? I think, see, with aliens, I think it, it, they. I feel like they have to be real because he swore on oath. Like that's like swearing to God and that I, these shits is real. I thought they. I was really like, yo, bro, get the fuck out of here. That's but bullshit. You, but you gotta think about it though. That's we, all our lives. Niggas have been faking everything, so we've seen all the fake shit. So when shit comes up that's real, and we look at it like that should look fake, we're just gonna automatically think it's fake and not believe it. So. And, and like history always says, they always kind of look like them little folks. So mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they also got some type of evolution, like we we had. Exactly. They said that. I think he said them shits was like a thousand years old or some shit like that. So I mean, like if like they look like they do look like paper mache. I'm not gonna lie, they do look like they, they created. They look crazy. But it's look. like if if though if that came out like 40 years ago, we're gonna be like, yo, what the fuck is that? But I think, like, the person did, like, the autopsy, whatever, when he yeah. was, like, trying to determine, like, the bones, like, this shit's, like, unearthly, this shit's mm-hmm. not from here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And it's it's really weird. Like, with aliens, bro, it's really weird. Like, it happened, aliens, alien shits happen a lot more in, like, other countries than it does in the United it's States. It's, like, more open land places they do mm-hmm. that shit, like. Because you got to think about it. It's, like, um... We gonna catch that shit real quick. We can catch it quick, bro. Especially where we live, where there's like billions of people or millions of I people ain't in that area. Be like what? Like you know what's you know what's one of the most like UFO like has the most UFO sightings in the world? Like what country? Like like take a guess. Mexico. Close. It's Brazil, bro. Damn, bro. Brazil has so many sightings. It's so much that the government actually like. Monitors, monitors all the UFO sightings. Like there was a time, I think it was in the 1980s, like 1986. It was called like. The, the night of the UFOs where there was a it was at an airport and a freaking like three like glowing lights was hovering above it and they didn't know what the fuck it was. So they called the army and I said as soon as the, the fighter jets went past it, the shit disappeared and was um spotted twenty miles away. So that shit went from that area twenty miles away in five seconds. But that shit got me um thinking about this movie I watched. You watched the movie Nope? Yeah. With the the alien shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, like what if it's like Life like the the, the, the UFOs sh- there's life like uh is is the aliens like the, UFO- like what if there's like some is life on the ship and the ship itself it ha- is like a, a a being itself like like uh like bio ship from yeah. uh, Young Justice I wouldn't be surprised though but like even yo even more about that right so the way he just moves like come on bro I should like that it's shit be- O D bro. And like, yo, I, I got a story to tell you. I was listening to today. I didn't know I was gonna talk. I didn't want. I didn't know if I was gonna talk about it today, but I'm gonna bring it up now because we're talking about. It. So in 1988, right, there was a little boy who was he was in he lives in Brazil, and he was he likes playing at a river, and no, it's like it's a lake, and he likes you know looking for bugs and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And at that lake, a lot of gangs go there to dump dead bodies and shit like that in the barrier. So it's very dangerous. So he was there like he's like 10. And he sees a bunch of vultures over there. And like when he the vultures move away, he sees a dead body. 
So he calls the cops. And, you know, the cops, they do all the autopsy and shit like that. And usually when people find a dead body, like, the report comes out of who the dead body is. But no report came out. They was all wondering, like, who the fuck, like, who was the dead body? Mm. So people started thinking it was, like, a drunk uh, fisherman who got drunk and he like, got like, alcohol poisoning and died, right? But turns out, like, photos leaked of the the person and it was a it was a dude and he was like butt ass naked but he had holes drilled into him like he had two holes drilled here a hole drilled here a hole drilled here he had like an ear missing eye missing like half his face and it was like like precision cuts like some, like some motherfucker did fucking little surgery on that surgery on him yeah and like he had no more organs and they looked at him like it was like what the fuck and it's crazy because that was two years after the freaking UFOs popped up that I was just telling you about. That was two years after that. So, so when this, so when this body was found, it was two years after that UFO sighting happened with all the people going crazy. About yeah, it. with all the UFOs and shit like that. So, so if y'all, so two years before, there was a whole big ass UFO sighting that that shook the country and everybody was like going crazy. And ever since they found out about it, all the far, ever since that UFO thing happened, all the farmers were like. Their cattle was getting killed randomly. They didn't know what happened. They'd be going. I heard aliens. They'd be loving them crop fields. Deal. That's what I'm saying. And like they would kill the cattle, and they didn't know what happened to them. But like, what happened to the cattle was the same thing that happened to the person. So like the cattle would have like little holes drilled into them. All their organs was out. And the reason why that the government didn't tell the people who that person was and why he died is because they didn't want the people to be scared that oh because the people already think the aliens are stealing these cows and taking their organs. They don't want to. He the government didn't want to scare the people. Thinking that they're taking people. People now. now, yeah. So they kept it under wraps, but shit got leaked out into the public of what really happened. But like that's some shit you can't even try to literally monitor or control. Like what the fuck? That's you what I'm saying. But like niggas just, is gonna get scared though, bro. Like especially in the '80s, bro. Like now we like nowadays. Like, that's why I feel like niggas make the the, the movies, bro, to get to make it like normal. You know what I mean? Yeah, probably back in the day, motherfuckers didn't really hear about this shit. So when it did happen, motherfuckers were like. All right, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, just now imagine. We, now we hear this shit is so common, so we're like, all right, we got to be aware, but we ain't going to be fucking flipping flipping out about it. Exactly. And I even heard, like, the guy that, that got, like, abducted and got the shit done to him, he didn't even die from that. He died from, like, all the pain that, like, he said, they said, like, through the autopsies, like, I think the, you have he, a... He you, was alive during the process. He was alive during the pl- process, and he died because, like, I think you have a gland in your body, like, when you're on fight or flight mode, it, like, shuts off everything. So you can just, like, put all your energy into surviving. So they said, like, his gland was going stupid because he was in so much pain that it shut Yo, off. Yo, that it. sounds crazy. And then, like, it shut off his heart. And that's how he died. Man, we're just dying from the excruciating pain. Yes, bro. So just imagine. But, like, I can understand why you want to want to tell people. You don't want to scare motherfuckers. Especially these farmer people. Like, they don't know what's going to happen. They're just going to think it's going to happen to them. But that's uh, OD, though, bro. Nah, but, like, that's some shit I feel like I feel like it, it was kind of right for them to kind of not tell people about it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, you gotta, you have to keep shit under wraps, but you, you should like, but it, it's, but it's good I for understand though, because they're like, yo, bro, we don't even know what to fucking tell people, bro. Exactly. So, that's probably one of the big reasons why they ain't even say nothing. It's Because it's, they're like, bro, how the fuck we explain this shit to people, bro? Mm-hmm. Like, it's weird, bro. Like, especially in like, co- countries like that. I would have been like, honestly, bro. There's some vultures ate that nigga, bro. You, just, you would've just capped? I would just capped. They was capping for a minute, and then, like, the, the shit leaked out. Like, they was, like, the whole... St- they was just... They, like, it just looked weird. Because they... Kn- everybody knew that lake was for... Like, you find dead bodies all the time. But, like, they just... Fu- That's weird that it's such a common thing. Motherfuckers was like... Yeah, bro, like... Like, why don't you tell me who the fuck this nigga is? Like, leave the body there, bro. Like, it is what it is. We know who it is. Exactly. Motherfucker said who? Exactly. They got holes in his body. Freak, it's weird, bro. Like... You ever experienced no, bro, that's like creepy that, though? though. So if you said that UFO, what if he was abducted those two years? Oh, before? and he was like, oh, that's crazy, bro. He might have. And he was in that shit for fucking two, two years. Bro. Nah, I don't think they'll torture him like that. I think like with aliens, bro. A lot of people. Think, hey, bro, don't forget. I heard a bunch of shit about aliens about people getting abducted, and then they show up ten years later in the yeah, same spot, alive yeah. though. That's what I'm saying. That's weird though. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's. Bro. See, that's crazy right there. Some people could just show up dead or you just show up 10 years later and you think you were in the same spot and nothing happened. And you're like, what the fuck? That's so I heard I'm... about shit and motherfuckers were like, why, like, why everybody changed now? Like, I thought... You you thought you thought you thought it was the same time Like, period. you thought nothing happened, bro. You're like, yo, bro, I just came out here to get some air. That's I what... know everybody fucking... I know I vanished for 10 years. Hey, bro. And even... Yo, there was a... Yo, there was a guy... 
I forgot. It was a firefighter, right? And he was skiing. He was skiing with his buddies in like upstate New York or whatever. And his buddies went down the hill, but then the the guy the, the guy never made it down. And it was like, what the fuck happened to him? They didn't know what happened to the guy. And they went. They had a whole big search party looking for him, trying to find out where he went, things like that. They couldn't find him. And they said they found him like I think a, a week later in Sacramento. And he didn't know how the fuck he got there. Oh, God, Sacramento, CS, Bro, OC? across the country, and he didn't know, like, he just, like, teleported. He was just so confused. Like, he was like, I don't know what happened. I just was remember I fell asleep. Was he, was he like, clothed? He had his clothes on? No, he had his clothes on. He was just so confused. He just, like, he was like, I don't know what happens. Like, I just nah. remember falling asleep. Just imagine, you fall asleep, wake up in another, you fall asleep tonight. They put a probe in that boy. I don't know, bro. Like, niggas, I, I remember I was, I'd be watching Joe Rogan a lot, and he'd be having guests that talk about aliens all the time. And they was talking about, like, yo, aliens could really just be farming us. Like, how we farm cattle and, like, how we do experiments on animals. Like, them niggas could really just be coming down they just picking. A, they got a shack of us, bro. We, you never know, bro. Like, just imagine. They just take, like, imagine we have something they want. Like, imagine, like, and they, like. They look, they look for certain characteristics in people. Yeah, they look for certain characteristics or they just look for people that no, everybody knows they're not going to find. Or they're not going to care if they're missing, like, like nobodies. And they just pick them up, you know, do some experiments and put them down. Especially, especially in like them little rural areas like that. Niggas not gonna believe motherfuckers like that. They not that stupid. I prob- they they probably got so advanced with. It. I thought like they what did they got like shape shifting as aliens? Oh, they definitely do. They definitely got I, they definitely got some cloak and shit. Because I've definitely seen some videos of people that look like fucking they need some NPC. They don't know shit in the world, bro. I'm like, hey, yo, you good, bro? Bro, people talk about there's like. There's like individuals in our system that cre- that create our system that aren't humans, and that's why everything's so much advanced now because they're the ones who are putting it in the system. Oh, that's crazy. That be od. Yeah, like uh, they don't. They're the ones that figure the, the the phones. They're the ones that figure out technology, Wi-Fi. Nigga, imagine if, if they didn't help us, and we we still be back in like the 1900s, bro. Chilling. Hey, with the buggies. Yeah, bro. Hey, man. This Isn't is it? it's creepy. Even yo, have you ever experienced like some shit like that? Like a, like a UFOs or anything weird, anything of that nature? Um, I have. When? Uh, this this was twenty twenty one. This was the most wildest shit I ever seen in my life. I swear to God. All right, what happened? This is my backyard, right? So I'm chilling in my backyard with um, um, I'm chilling with this right, and then we we looking up right. Yeah. And I fucking notice there's a there's three. Three like they're not shooting stars, but they're like some fast ass like you would think it's like a like a like a plane. Yeah, yeah. But you know how the planes move and, and shit, they right? flicker. Like you know, yeah, they got the lights and they and they move like this. Yeah, yeah. It's like you could tell it's like moving. It's it's look like it's moving slow, but it's moving fast in the air, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could tell this shit was like this. It's three and they separate. One's going like this. Like fast, bro. It's not like a not like a plane. Like it's it's not even like a fucking shooting star. I swear to God, it's like going just fast as fucking. It's like a thick ass light in the sky, right? Really? And then the other one goes the other direction, and the other one goes the other direction. You seen that shit? I swear to I'm God. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I think I was in your backyard one day. I remember. I forgot what we was doing, but I think I remember Jay was there, and I remember I looked up into the sky and I seen the, I seen the stars, and I just remember the stars went like this. It was going like this. And I was like, and I looked at Jay. I was like, you seen that shit? My backyard low key like a little hotspot. I don't know, bro. Bro, because I know freaking my mom has a picture of a UFO. Like her aunt took a picture of it in Oregon. And it's like, she took she was taking a picture of a mount. It's like Mount Shasta or whatever. It's in Cali. Mm-hmm. And like you see something like a big ass saucer, like a little saucer, saucer like this, like fly by. And she took a picture of that shit. Damn. I got I gotta find that picture. I gotta ask my mom. She she yeah, has it still. Just put that shit up, bro. Bro, when I seen that shit, bro, I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Like, yo, especially I'm now. Telling you, I seen that shit. I believe you, cause I seen some shit too, cause. Bro, it was the fact that like, I don't know why I was looking around, cause like in my in my backyard, um, I got the Big Dipper shit. I can see the Big Dipper in my backyard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just looking at that shit, and then I just see these three fucking shit that's just separate. I'm like, would you? Would you? Would I'm you like, cooking? hold up. I'm like, that's not a plane, my boy. That shit. Were you cooking that day? Shit, I was. <laughs> I was cooking. But I know I wasn't retarded, bro. I'm, ah, like, I'm, okay. I'm like, hold up, motherfucker. That, I'm cooking, but that shit moving mighty fast for a regular ass star, bro. Or Yo, plane. that's crazy, bro. Nah, I forgot I was, you told me that one day. I was scared as shit. I'm like, bro. What the? And I don't even <laughs> want to take, take my phone. I just want to keep looking at shit because I don't want to lose it. And I'm watching this shit 
just bro, it never vanishes, bro. It's just going like into it the just distance. keeps going farther and farther until I just couldn't see it no more. Like because the trees started blocking, I couldn't see it no wow, more. Wow, bro. It just kept going and going, bro. I think I really did see that one time. Like I remember, I think it might have been your birthday. Like one of your birthdays, we was at your crib, and I just remember I was just like, yo, what the fuck? It looked like they was following each other, bro. Because in my backyard, there's like not really a lot of trees, so you could just fucking see everything. everything yeah, there. that shit was od, bro. Dang, bro. That's some crazy shit, bro. Imagine they got your ass out of there, bro. Nah. That's why they got that, that that big dipper they got, bro. That's the hot zone right there. They <laughs> the got, big bro. dipper. I'm chilling in that spot, bro. Hey, bro. I got a whole picture of the big dipper, bro. <laughs> I need what? a telescope. You want, I, I swear to God, I got the big dipper like just slapped down in the middle of my back. You want like them big ass telescopes or you want the, not the kitty shits. You got to get the big shits. Like the actual like telescopes where you could see the stars. stars. Motherfuckers could see the planets. Yes, you need that one. Cause like, I, can't you like see Mars like once in a while? You can see Saturn and Jupiter with that shit. Really? But like, I'm like, I don't know how to fucking determine what the fuck I'm looking. That's at, what I'm bro. saying. I don't know. Hey, well, what if we go to like them little uh, what's that? Shit? What's the shit called? You gotta go to um, you gotta go to like high ass res- um resort like reservations. Yeah. At night. Oh, you talking about like like where like they had like fields and shit? Because I seen some guy um. He said he went to, like, the darkest part of the fucking earth, some shit like that. Yeah. He went to, like, an island or some shit. hmm And he went to, like, it was, like, a fucking crazy-ass hike he did. He went to, like, the top of the mountain, popped the shit at night. Nigga saw fucking Mars, uh, Saturn, Jupiter. That's what I'm saying. I mean, when you... He saw, like, a certain, like, a... I don't know how the fuck. He saw, like, a certain galaxy or some shit. I'm like, how the it's like fuck? A, it's like a star belt or whatever? Like a certain, like, uh, like a certain cluster of stars or whatever? Yeah, it's like a cluster of some shit, bro. I don't know. I don't know how you can buy a telescope and that shit could do that for you, bro. Me neither. I would think you need to go to a fucking... Them big-ass science stations. Yeah, yeah, yeah with shit. the big-ass shits. Like, the big-ass telescope. Better, you, can, you can go see that shit. But, like, my problem is... Well, I'm, like, confused on how motherfuckers determine where the coordinations are and shit. That's what I'm saying. They've been doing this for years too, like like hundreds of years, and it's like they have the coordinations like already written in like whatever. What do they call? It? They call astrologers, as, as, astronomers, Astrom- astronomers, astronomers. Yeah, I, I don't know. And that'd be a fun ass job though, bro. Just studying the damn sky. I know, but like I that'd feel be, like I'll break your patience, bro. You like. I've been waiting fucking two weeks, motherfucker. I haven't seen this motherfucker. <laughs> you be trying to look at the one, like, Orion's belt or whatever this shit, that yeah, one comet. You, imagine you trying to watch that one comet. You missed that shit. You mad as shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You gonna be mad as hell, bro. Ma- bro, imagine seeing a comet, bro. I've seen I've seen a shooting star a bunch of times before, but a comet? Nah, I never it, seen a comet. That shit like a bunch of stars just. Like nah, shooting. that's a that's a meteor shower. That a, is? a comet is like one. It's like a rock. It's like it's like you can see it going throughout the sky, but it's like it's not going fast. Yo, I wonder how that how that shit be making its colors and shit, bro. That shit be looking crazy. I always want to see the um aurora borealis, where that shit, or the the shit that's in the northern lights or whatever. Oh. I always want to see that shit. Yeah, bro. I wish we could see that shit over here, bro. I, fr- I think something was supposed to happen recently where you could see it. Like They right always here. say that shit. There's always some shit like that. But I ain't going to lie. I never see it anyways. Yeah. The, like, the best thing I ever seen was like a red moon. Yeah. And like, did you ever did you ever see like a lunar or, or solar a lunar eclipse? I think I've seen the... Uh, remember the, uh, the eclipse when that shit was going crazy when everybody was like... Yeah. I think I did see that shit. I don't remember watching it because I didn't know... I didn't remember if a lunar or solar you can't look at. Yo, bro, I watched the video. It was funny as fuck. A kid was dead. I was looking at it, and he got blind for like an hour or some shit like that, bro. <laughs> and his brother was just making fun of him. <laughs> like, stop fucking faking it and shit, bro. Nigga, he's, he's like, bro, I can't see. I'm like, yo. What you yo, get? man. Nigga <laughs> said stop faking. This little fat kid, he dead as if. Nigga's an idiot. Nigga's don't learn. Bro, it's like, bro, I don't know, bro. How's that even possible? Is it just that bright? I don't know how that shit like fucked your vision up, but I guess it's just the way the 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 sun rays uh like just, meet your meet your eyes, bro. That's OD, bro. Oh my gosh, man. Fuck that, bro. Going blind like that because you want to fucking just see some black shit. But look, on. he's low key the first person to ever see a solar eclipse. He got his he got his vision back after an hour, hopefully. I don't know if that's... Now, nah, he probably got to wear glasses for the rest of his, so rest I'm saying, of his life. I feel like that shit could do some type of damage, especially if you're a kid. Oh yeah, no, nah, it's just not even developed for real. That's what I'm saying. He forgot. You know what? Now, now, now you gotta wear glasses now, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Hey, he can do what I do. I finesse my, I finesse my, um, my vision test all every time. How? Like before I do the vision test, I memorize all the letters or try oh, to memorize as much as possible. This, this man is weird. So like, I go like this, like, like I and know, you just and you just see where they point at. Yeah, I just see where they point at, and I, I could see like since I already seen it before, I kind of remember like what the shape looks like, and I just guess. Yeah, but like doing some place to be randomizing the fucking. 
No, nah, not really. It's always the same thing. Oh, the same shit. Like I, I told, did I tell you? I told a story right here before. Like I used to wear glasses when I was a kid, and I used to have an eye patch because this eye is not as strong as this one. So I had like astigmatism, and I remember I went to the doctor and I left my glasses at home, and I did the eye test, and I, I tried the trick. I did it, and the guy was like, "Oh, you got twenty twenty? Like what'd you do? Like oh, you wear?" Nigga, he said, "Did you wear your glasses?" <laughs> I was like, "Nah, I didn't wear my glasses." He's like, "Oh, you don't got to wear glasses no more." I was like. Good looks. Yo, this fucking guy, bro. Imagine you're, me with glasses. Yo, you're really a kid for that, bro. How? That's WIQ. <laughs> niggas not niggas not tapped in, bro. If y'all need a hey, bro, if y'all don't want to wear glasses no more, just do what <laughs> I did. But don't be ass though. If you really can't sleep, if you really can't see, wear them glasses. I haven't done a vision test in a minute. Is your do you have good vision? I'm pretty sure I do. I might got like is 15 good? <laughs> <laughs> 15? I don't want to be I got 20-20 It's like I'm gassing myself up I think I don't think I think anything Outside of 20 Like I don't think it's like The lower it is The better it is I think it's just like 20-20 is good But like If you're 15 Like you're just like A little stronger On this oh, side Than the other one I got 20-20 <laughs> Like did you ever like Like if you could re- Like can you read Like that box right there That says That's an M-A-O-N-O Okay okay You straight You straight you ain't that blind. You ain't that you blind. See what else I can see. That shit says pure basketball. You feel me? Okay. That shit says tree, tree lows, tree, trios, ti- tigers. Trio lows, tigers. Ah, you're not that blind. <laughs> Trio- you ain't that blind. So, uh, see, that's a fucked up name. I, that, that shit fucked my head up. Triolos? Triolos. Triolos? Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? You know who's in that picture? I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I don't think you can see. It's You remember Excellence? Excellence. The dark skinned dude that was two grades below us? I remember here some the African dude. <laughs> Excellent. You you know if you see he's the big fat dude who play football. He's in that picture. Uh Justin Silva in that picture. Justin Silva. That nigga Sabir in that picture. Damn. Yeah. Triolas Tigers. Yeah. 2008. Yeah. You remember Aaron Hobbs? Motherfucking been living out here in Union for Yeah, man. I've been out, I've been out here for a minute. You've been out here for a minute. Yeah. 2008. Jordan was in Jordan used to live in the hood, bro. Alright, bro. We, we, I was just <laughs> I was, I was living somewhere, bro. Jordan was in the trenches, bro. I was living somewhere. He was a baby kid, bro. All right, I got a question for you. So for $500 million... baby kid, bro. <laughs> for $500 million, would you go with seven people? One is an expert survivalist and survived 50 days in the wild. But two of those people in that group are serial killers. Would I do it? Would you do it? For five mil? $500 million. $500 mil? Yeah. And I got a... I got... You said seven people? Seven people. One is a survival expert, and two of them are serial killers. Oh. But you don't know who the serial killers are. You just got to you just gotta not trust niggas. <laughs> so would you do it? Yeah. I, w- I would do it, too. I ain't going <laughs> to lie. Because you know what I'm you know This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Bro, literally, I'm taking, it, I'm taking the technical, bro. It's survival. I'm trusting one motherfucker. That's, That's it, bro. I am, you know, but what if that survival nigga is the serial killer? Wait, you ain't saying that right there. No, I said two random niggas. He might be. That'd be oh, too. Oh, man, that's some shit right there. But I'm, I'm just, I'm going to go off a limb. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the survival dude. I'm going to be like, yo, I'm not going to lie. We're going to be here for 50 days, but two of these motherfuckers is acting weird. I don't know who it is. But yeah, they like, bro, it might be me, bro. So keep your head high, bro. Do some fuck shit. I'm going to fuck you up, bro. Yeah. So teach me your ways. No, no, I'm not going to say teach. I'm going to be like, yo, me and you, we going to dip. We gonna get out of here. But the mo- yeah, but like, I feel like but if he's the killer, there's like a there's like a one out of seven chance he's the killer, or one out of six chance. Because if he's a killer, he's automatically gonna be like, oh, I got you. Oh my god! Nah, he's I'm gonna still- be like, he's gonna be like, I got you, my boy. We gonna we got this shit. I just gotta move tactical so when, at nighttime, bro. So when you collecting your 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 coconuts and shit, <laughs> bot, you know, <laughs> beat me in the head, boy. For five hundred million, it's only fifty days. Damn, that's a long ass time. I'm doing it, bro. I'm doing it too. Dang. <laughs> Bro, because if he's the killer, I'm fucked. Nigga, I'm You gotta gonna... just trust him, bro. Imagine the one nigga that can save us. It's 50 50. Now, if he's not the killer, hallelujah, my boy. You <laughs> live, bro. <laughs> nigga, Bear Grylls gonna eat, gonna eat me alive, bro. Nah, just a ima- All right, so like. Bro, this... all I need is to be taught how to craft a weapon and I'm straight. You don't know how to craft a bow, like a little like a little spear? You can do that shit light. Well, like, what if he knows some other ways, bro? Like what? Like, like, you know what like, I mean? put a, like, put a rock on a, on a he, stick and if, make a, ha- a he, hatchet. What if he know how to like make a trip mine or some shit, bro? Who the fuck is gonna make it? How the fuck do you make a trip mine out of wood and rocks? You fucking have a nigga trip over like some little, like some what little, explosive are you gonna use? Some little leaf. I don't, I don't gotta be bark. It'd be like that shit <laughs> makes you fall into like a pit of fucking spears or some shit. Okay, that's not. Why would you want that? I mean, bro. you could trap animals with that. No, trapping them. It's trapping animals and. 
Them serial killers, bro. What if you're like roommate with the serial killer? Because why are they gonna be sneaking up on me? I don't know. See, I'm bo- I'm booby trapping my oh, room. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's what. I, nah, you gonna be intense. But look, think about it like this: I'm gonna put sticks around, so every time a nigga step on his uh, step by, he gonna hear the crack. Bro, I ain't gonna hold you, nigga. Like me, I be in deep sleep. Yeah, you're fucked. I ain't gonna. And, lie. I don't know. I feel like if you're in a survival, bro, you gonna really be you you gonna really take your sleep serious. But I feel like if you in danger, you just not gonna like you gonna be alert at all times. At all times. I just you know the first two days, I gotta think. Who was the killer? I gotta really figure out who it That's is. That's your thing. Yeah, you gonna be collecting data. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna inspect niggas because like if he's a smart, like out of one out of two, one is gonna be really smart. One of them might just be a nigga just want to stab. But like, niggas. look, you got other people too. I know, like they're they're normal people, so I might, but I don't know if they're the killers, bro. Like I just gotta make sure, like, yo, this nigga is not, like, I gotta get away from this. Because like, I was about to be like, what if you try to add another person to your little posse, but then what if you end up adding the killer, both serial killers? Exactly, then I'm fucked. But like, are they working together? Or are they mean, just, or they just their own people, so they can just kill each other too? They nah, they 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 know they they know who it is. Oh, so they kind of working together? Either working together, they trying to they they're in competition to get the most say, bodies, or, or they trying to like. Team up until the end. See who gets the most bodies, bro. That's shit. That's a that's a that's a tough ass movie. I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty shady, bro. That'd be a tough ass movie, like a survival movie. Depending on the serial killer, bro. If he like some some seven, Jeffrey Dahmer, some seven foot ass motherfucker. Nah, it'd be like a, it'd be like a bunch of two Jeffrey Dahmer ass niggas. But honestly, if it's two Jeffrey Dahmer ass, niggas, I think I can kill a nigga. He going out easy, bro. I already know. Once you started talking to me funny. Like, yo, just so I got you over here, little nigga. Yeah, yeah, like, like no, nigga. He's like, he like, hey man, I, f- I found something. I'm like, mm, yeah, you're weird. <laughs> like, Bruh. hey, hey man. Nah, bro. Like, can Definitely. you help me move these rocks, man? You're dead. I, I got, I can't, I can't trust you after that. I'm taking, I'm taking those people out, bro. You taking those people if, out? If, if, if it's still killers like that, and not like no fucking, like fucking big ass. Yeah, bro. no, not like the big show, or whatever. Now we cool it, hey, bro. 50, I mean, even if you but want, now we gotta think about it. we we're doing fifty days in the woods in the in the wild now, so we gotta survive. <laughs> we gotta survive wild and niggas. But like, I feel like I don't want people thinking I'm the serial killer if I kill somebody. Fuck it, fuck it, bro. Then what if they like, yo, hold on, what you doing? What you doing, bro? He was trying to kill me, nah, but we all about to jump you now, nigga. I, I'm I'm going out swimming. I'm not. I feel like weird shit will be shit like that. Shit you gotta watch out for, it, bro. People just the whole group just teaming up on you and turn on me, and then they all become serial killers. Nah, there's no way. They gotta believe me. Literally, you gotta just go with the flow with the with the um the survivalist guy. I feel like he gonna attack me first though. Wait, just only one person can leave with the money though? What? Nah, you no, you're just gonna get the bread. So this this the just think of it as oh, like everybody is, Everybody gets their own five hundred million if there was that much money in the world. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. That's what I'm saying. Why, why? That nigga I, I I'm just a, I'm gonna stick with that man, bro. I'm like, bro, honestly, bro. The, all right, with the with the circle I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a good Extra one one fifty mil of my of my shit. That nigga cause. don't give a fuck. He want he want your head, bro. He nah, want... to the survival guy, bro. Oh, okay. I'm telling, but he might be the killer. He might be fucked, bro. But like, just let me be friend. Let me be you know be friends with him, bro. Try to you feel me. I'm gonna be I, like I I gotta see the tendencies, bro. You gotta be yo as bad as time. You gotta try to be friendly with these people. You bro. know what you gotta do. You know what you gotta do. You gotta kill. You, if you see a nigga like not feel no empathy of killing something, he's a fuck. He's the killer, bro. No emotions. No emotions. Like he stabs, he stabs like a like a like a squirrel or something. He's like, yeah, nah. He's he's the killer. He's the killer. Then, <laughs> like, <sighs> nah, that's weird, bro. And he's just he's just Honestly, like basking agree, in the glory. I, I agree with that shit, bro. You know what I mean? That's I like, that's how that you know shit, that they're a killer, bro. Like if they don't have no emotion, you're either so you're either a sociopath or a psychopath. He want either one or two. I'm not trusting none of these. But also. Like if the <laughs> if the survival nigga is just killing animals, he's just like, I'm. See, bro. Imagine they kill me on the last day. Like, why the fuck would you do that, bro? Why would you nah, do that? I'm shit? trusting the survival guy all the way, bro. All right, you go. Tr- you go. I'll, I'm 75. You got to be friends with everybody. I would. No, I'm. Not. You got to. But like, you got. Oh, be, I would. You got to try to seem friendly. I would. Be, you know, I would be friends with everybody because if I'm friends with everybody, if I'm friends with the killer, I'm not gonna die first, right. unless. But he, but you on his list though, so you gotta keep that in mind. You oh yeah, I got, I'm gonna keep it in mind. Somebody gonna kill you. I also, somebody, I, somebody wants to kill you. I also gotta keep in mind that even though I'm his friend, maybe that makes it easier for him to kill me because I'm not gonna think he gonna kill me. That shit hard, bro. How do niggas live these lives? I'm bro? doing that basically. I'm doing that whole island and I'm making it, and them killers is not touching me. All right, real nigga, bro. Real nigga. Because I'm telling you, best way to survive: be friends, be alert, 
soon you see any weird shit, you gotta act on it. Okay, okay. Hey, man. Like you said, the first thing, bro. Soon you see a motherfucker kill like a like a hog. He's just like, and he like, <clears throat> yeah, you little bastard. He like, no, no, not the little <laughs> bastard. He he not even have no emotion. Just like. Nah, you weird as <laughs> fuck then, bro. I'm like, no, you've done this before, right? I'm like, he's oh, like... Oh, you do this, right? This is what you do? He's like... Got you, got you, got yeah. you. When you sleep, you out of here, basically. And if he starts giving me, like, random information about, like, the human body, like, he's like, yeah, you know, you know your femur's connected to your tibia, and you know the femur is the biggest bone. Like, if I start hearing some weird shit like that, you dead. I'm but killing like, you first. All right, if you was to kill him, how and when would you do him? I gotta be at least like. Are you gonna do it around the group? If I, if I, oh, no, hell no. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a learn. I'm a, yo. You want to get some firewood? Oh, you gonna I'm try a, to trick him? I'm gonna so trick you him. Will seem like the serial killer. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be like, yo. I don't know where you went, nigga. I'm be like, yo. He fell off a cliff. Push him off the cliff. But I gotta know for sure though. Like I gotta be certain. Like if he's I acting feel like weird, as sad as it sounds, only one of the best ways to know for certain is once you catch that nigga killing somebody else. That's what I'm saying. Like you know, I'm not, I'm probably not gonna kill nobody until until he tries to attempt to kill me. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't want to just act on it. Cause what if I kill a random civilian? That's what I'm saying you gotta wait. You gotta act. You gotta. But what if I? What if they go ahead and kill the fucking the, the survivalist? <laughs> I'm scums. like, you just don't want me to live at this point, cause like why? Nah, cause he what? kills the only nigga that we. <laughs> Nigga, imagine he kills a nigga like the third day. <laughs> like, nah, bro. Nigga gonna kill him on the first day. I'm like, nah, you're wildin'. Like, they, learned, <laughs> nah, they, you're they learned all his tricks the first day and then he just ended him, bro. Nah, you're bugging, bro. F- oh my gosh, bro. We're a bunch of, we're stupid. Nick, human beings is crazy because there's really humans out there that be acting like that, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, like, they'll be like, yo, we got the best option to survive. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> Is so, yo, niggas just need to get, make us go extinct already, bro. Like, yo, niggas just got it. We niggas is so stupid, bro. Bro, we got like, I, another, I'm telling got you, like another quarter, quarter mil, quarter like half million, a mi- million years. Then we, then we did, bro. Hey, man, I don't know, but all, our, all, our, all I heard is that the sun is gonna either engulf the, the earth or we're gonna get sucked into a black, a black hole? hole. So, like, I, I was just about to ask that. So, like. What like what out like what possibility or what outcome do you think has to happen for like or what what scenario do you think will happen that will cause our extinction? Because I sat as inside, a human, I sat as a human inside, race. I really feel like it's I feel like it's like a cycle that always happens happens to that, that, hey this, it happens to every civilization that lived on Earth. Every planet gets gets got, bro. So what do you think ours would be? If it was, if I had to say not another meteor shower, or whatever bullshit, another meteor, because that's pretty cliche. Yeah. I heard a black hole would really be like some crazy shit. Ah, black hole. But I was, like my shit with a black hole is like this is why I fear the black hole more than anything, right? Because mm-hmm. I I feel like we won't even sense or feel that shit coming really. Low key, what if like I feel like I don't know you're gonna see hell of this shit just getting sucked quick as fuck. What if it's not even like that? What if it's just like a you dimension just, switch? You just, yeah, it's just quick, and now you're just you're just in a whole nother time sphere, like worm, like a wormhole. Yeah, it's just mad quick, and then it's just like I don't know, a black hole. But like I would think, but no, honestly, I, I think if that shit was to happen, like I feel like we wouldn't even really f- feel us being sucked. We, I feel like we would just vanish, which is kind of so scary as fuck. I just think, like I, I think I talked about this before. I think the one thing that is a possibility that could happen, and that's very possible, is if that giant. Um, volcano in uh the one of the national parks in oh, the blows up blows up. That's a super volcano that niggas don't talk about. I think it's like I forgot where it's at. That, it's shit, like, that shit in dormant right now. Yeah. So that's they said that shit explodes. That shit's gonna co- <laughs> cover the earth in fucking like clouds. Yo, Cause is that sh- that shit like rose up from the fucking is that shit like in the ocean or some shit? No, it's in the na- it's in one of our national parks. It's in America. I forgot. It's like. I forgot what national park it was. Fuck, I forgot what it was. Is it in California, bro? No, no, it's like Wyoming. That that big ass oh, national forest in Wyoming. They got hello mountains over there. That's bro. what I'm saying. That that shit's either that or like a sickness, a big ass sickness that could kill us off, or like well, like another like a another virus. I don't know about a virus, but something. Not even like zombies, just like the like the plague, something like the plague that just kills that off everybody. Or the sun will burn out. That too, but I don't think that's gonna happen for like another billion or million years. Low key, I heard I heard there was like a, a, a asteroid that's that's supposedly supposed to hit like like America in like two thousand one hundred or whatever. They say that shit all the time, but like I think 
Like that should be changing trajectory. You think <laughs> you think that well, imagine there's like an undercover like like group of people that like protect the earth and we don't know about it? <laughs> Like they're just in space, just shooting, late, shooting like asteroids. Bro, that's what I thought. I'm like, bro. I'm like, yo, if the US dead ass knows about this shit, are they dead ass gonna try something to do something? Or they just gonna let it hit us? Yeah, I, feel like I don't know. Like that's what I'm saying. But it's like, I feel like they're dead ass trying to shoot a missile. But you need some shit massive to fucking make that shit just change fucking directions. But okay. I heard them shits is like the fucking size of like the fucking moon or some shit. That's what I'm saying. They're biggest. Okay, they're all right. You know what? I got a question. So if a meteor hit the Earth. Say it's a meteor the size of. You gotta say a country or, or state. The size of Florida, right? So Florida is fifty five thousand square miles, I think. A meteor, right? It impacts, boom. Anything around it is cleared out, burnt up, whatever. So now imagine the other side. Like, what happens to the rest of the shit? Like, like why does, like why does it just extinct everything on the planet? Cause it, it fucking creates like a crazy ass like shockwave around the whole earth. But like, do you think that will kill everything though? Yeah, that shit. You creates, think so, nigga? That shit will create fucking size of fucking floor. That shit will create like fucking tsunamis. But I don't think everything would die for real though. I don't know how big the shit was for dinosaurs. That's what I'm saying. Like with the dinosaurs, bro. If like, we talking like a shit like the size of Russia. Maybe. Oh, but like maybe. even the shit like that big, that I feel pier- like that shit piercing through the earth. That's what I'm that shit gonna explode. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the old earth gonna explode. But if it's like something like I feel I think the, the shit that was that hit the dinosaur, I think it wasn't that big. It was just like a size of like a fucking like uh, a state or whatever. But I'm like That's what I'm saying. I think that shit wasn't that big because I felt like it was some shit like if some shit big as for like Russia, as big or like the fucking moon. That shit's like gonna fucking just beam. That shit gonna fucking throw the, the fucking earth off. That shit gonna fucking split the earth in half and just gonna go right through. Yeah, but yeah, even that, or that shit gonna send the planet just fucking moving. Yo, imagine my boy, we the, just in fucking spinning crazy orbit. Nigga, nigga, times gonna go by faster. Yo, that would be crazy. That would be some crazy shit. I don't, I, I don't know, bro. Cause even like I looked up, I looked up how the dinosaurs died. They said they died. Most of them died on impact, but then over time, like the weather changed, or whatever. Yeah, that shit. But, and they said that mammals and birds survive, but the dinosaurs died. Like some, like um, like some little mammals, like the little squirrels and shit. But like how? But that's what I'm saying. If everything was is supposed to die, how did the dinosaurs just die and not the fucking animal, not those animals that? Because I'm assuming the way, the, the way the way some of those animals were living, like some of them were dead ass, like they had burrows on the ground. You think, bro? I don't know. I feel like that'd be like, worse. I, like I know, like our, one of our oldest answers, dead ass, like a squirrel or some shit. Yeah. And I heard like the way he survived was like he was dead as like dormant, like he stood on the ground or some shit like that. But even so, birds, bro, like even bir- okay, birds, okay, they're above this shit, but still the shockwaves are not coming out. Was getting fucked by like meteors or shockwaves. That's what I'm saying. Like why then? Why didn't pterodactyls live if they fly also? Like, why did all the dinosaurs just die? I'm assuming it had to be more so like the littler type of animals that made it alive. I don't know, bro. Like, big ones, you were you were done the fuck up. Because it's like, even Cause like, even the, though, even some of the big ones, like, even some of the big animals, like the big mammals still lived. But like... Like, in the water, I heard the water got fucking boiling hot, bro. Oh, and like burnt... Oh, that's terrible. I heard the water got boiling hot from the fucking meteor, bro. I don't know, bro. That shit killed... It. That's why hella aquatic fucking animals died during that shit, too. I don't... Like, I just... I just don't think... That every, like I told you this before when we was talking. Remember we was talking about the dinosaurs that everybody calls a bunch of idiots. Remember that one episode I told you before. I just don't think every single dinosaur or whatever would have died off. I feel like all right. So now, no, nah, I, I I get what you're saying though because no, it, it didn't it didn't look like it, it caused a massive destruction, but it didn't fucking make shit get fucking like man, wiped away. It didn't wiped away. You know what I mean? So this goes into what also I want to talk about because I was watching a video on TikTok the other day. So people don't don't come at me, don't call me stupid. I found there was a scientist that went on a discussion. You know how we was talking about the dinosaurs before? Yeah, it went to China. It was, I think it was Japan, right? It was China. China. So they, they found went to different island. They found an island of dinosaurs. So now I have a story that is kind of it's a little. I don't know. The island one was a little sketchy. Might have been fake, but this one it might be a little. It's I have I have some facts to back it up with this one. So so all right so. Supposedly, there are dinosaurs. I'm not, I don't know if this is true. There's supposedly dinosaurs roaming around in Africa, right? Mm-hmm. And I, let me explain why. So a scientist went. He went to a discussion. He was in a meeting. He was talking about how one of the biggest swamps in the world is located in Africa, in the Congo. One of the biggest swamps in the world. 
That shit playing muddy. Bro, they said this swamp is equivalent to the size of like the lower half of the United States. So from Florida to like Maryland, that's how big it is. That's how big the fucking... swamp is. Yes. And they said that, that swamp is 80% unexplored, unexplored. Right? So you think about it, Bro, right? That's fucking far as shit. That is of a, a straight up swamp. Of a swamp. And that's just well, that. they just did it. They just did aerial fucking sweep and that shit. They just said, why oh, it's a swamp. Yeah, they yeah. Just, I think they just, you know, like aerial like projection, like with all the satellites and shit like that. I wonder why. You think you think it's I don't know, bro. All right, if it is because you think it's because it's dangerous. That, it, yo, they the natives say it's really it's it's hard to get through. Like it's very rugged. It's a it's a swamp. It's not like a forest. So it's like it's very muddy. It's very there's a lot of shit in there that could kill you. So like for se- you probably like don't you probably don't know where the fuck you're stepping in exactly. Shit. It and shit it, it gets deep. it gets really. And that's why the natives, bro. For centuries, the natives that live around that area talk about they see dinosaurs all the time. They talk about. And they just, they, they call them certain names. They don't call it like what we call it. But like, if you show them a picture of a dinosaur, they'll be like, yeah, we see them like, yeah, that's the, that's the dinosaur that live in there. So, so basically, even there was articles posted in the 19, like the early 1900s of, of, di- they said dinosaurs are found in Africa. There's a, there was an explorer that went in 1980. I forgot what his name was. He went on a six week expedition to go look into the, the the swamp to see if there is dinosaurs and he, he came probably, back he probably only did a little bit of fucking discovery bro he exactly and he said he came back he found tracks that was equivalent to like if an elephant was walking around god damn and then he said he also found a giant snake but he did it was in the 80s i don't know if he had pictures of it but he was that's what he claimed to have seen and then so the natives claim that there's a 50 foot crocodile that lives in the swamp and they said or the the people asked it was like they was like, yeah, how big is this crocodile? They're showing, they asked him. They 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 measured it out. Like they did like a little like a like a pole or whatever. It was fifty feet, bro. And it was like, there's no way it's fifty feet. Like a a crocodile feet is bogus. A crocodile only grows up to like seventeen, like sixteen feet. But then in two thousand five, they caught a crocodile that was twenty five feet long. And they was like, yeah, that's the big that's a little baby crocodile. There's bigger ones in there. And like it's weird to say that of course. We are accustomed to thinking that dinosaurs have been killed off, but I'm just saying that if whatever, if we haven't, we probably explored maybe 30% of the world as land, humans. Yeah, well, land, the world. just land. Not even talking about the sea. That's what I'm saying. The sea only got, I think we only discovered 5% of it. Maybe, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wild, but bro. just the land, I think we only discovered 30 So that other 70%, nobody knows what the fuck is out there. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying because there's... Other islands that motherfuckers still haven't even seen. There's other islands. There's other there's swamps now that pro- there's possibly. There's other swamps. There's other mountain ranges that niggas are never. They, they, like, we can't physically go there. I ain't gonna hold you. When I think about swamps, that shit, that shit probably got big ass mm-hmm. thing, bro, like you said. And even if you want to think about it, people be like, yo, how the fuck did they live that long? Bro, sharks have been alive longer than trees. How the fuck? Uh, Lily, sharks have been, along li- have been alive longer than trees. So if they can live that long, a couple of dinosaurs that have been breeding with each other, they can live in a swamp that nobody has touched. That's that big. Imagine that much of a swamp. Yeah, that's a fucking big ass swamp. That's a you big said, ass swamp. That's from like Florida, the bottom of Florida, the bottom of the United States, like almost the top of the United States. Like imagine from the bottom of Florida to like the edge of Texas, like the beginning of Texas, all the way up to uh, Maryland, and just that whole plane. Like they put it next to. They put like the the swamp next to America. They got a name. Is, is, is the name of the? It's of like the swamp? Ko, it's like koala or something like that. Koala. Yeah, it's like in the Congo, or whatever. If, if, I think it's like Congo swamp. But I think you messed up the name. But like they put like a picture because Africa is huge, bro. Yeah. They put like America on that swamp, and it was like the swamp as was at least like forty percent of America. Like that's od. Like imagine and eighty percent. We haven't even looked through that. You can't like that's how bad it is, bro. So there could be something in there. We need we, don't, to, we need to do more investigating. We need to definitely probably the, the the natives around there probably know way. Oh yeah, bro. There's definitely. You think they go hunting in there? Nah, I don't think so. I feel like they're they got scared off of it from it because yo, even in the Philippines, bro. There's shark. There's they caught a crocodile like ten years ago that was like 20, 30, 20, 22 feet long. The head was the size of like the chair, cuz like that's, a little bigger. Imagine OD. the head of that. That's, that's od. That come on, bro. Like it's it's pos- Like I'm not saying that there is dinosaurs alive, but I'm just saying there's possibilities for I anything. Mean, a crocodile, that's, that's a giant a, that's, crocodile. That's a, that's, a, that's a good example of a prehistoric dinosaur. Exactly, right a crocodile has been here since the dinosaur. So if that shit could survive, 
a dinosaur could survive, especially in an ecosystem that's not been touched by nobody. Yeah, they could they could get as big as they want, basically. Hey, man. Yeah. Probably fucking eating like a motherfucker in that swamp, Exactly. They, nobody touches it. They probably got good food in there. It's a whole nother... It has its own biome, bro. I heard... Bro, there's so many places that be having their own biomes. I heard there was like a giant ass like lake in like Africa that has its own weather system. Like the weather be different over there at that lake than any, any other place. You do too much talking, they're going to they gonna end up... People end up going, going to those places and fuck it all up, bro. Hey, man. I hope not. I mean, they, there's pres- preservations like that. Like even in... um. Like the Amazon rainforest and shit like that. I heard the Amazon was. I heard that's like a man-made forest. What the the one in Brazil? No, like the Amazon rainforest is man-made, low key, because like there was like they they found like a civilization in the Amazon, like mm-hmm. like traces of it, and they're the ones who planted all them trees. And like something happened, like that. I guess I like, killed them all off, and it just overgrown everything. Like they found like little buildings, like little py- like little uh, pyramids and shit like that. Yeah, motherfuckers just fucked their whole shit up, bro. Hey, bro, it's, you know what it was? It was like, um, but that shit thriving now. Yeah, I mean, it's bigger, but like the people that people used to live there, it was, they said like the, the Spanish people came in and gave them like uh, the sickness, like the Spanish flu, whatever. Mm. They all died off because you know that's that's how niggas did in America, bro. Niggas did that shit with the Native Americans, gave niggas blankets, gave them smallpox. That's terrible. I don't think they did that on purpose, though. I don't think, I think that was an accident, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I, I see, I see the, I see the, I see the good, the good message, you but, know, he uh, tried, but if they did that on purpose. They're sick. fucked. They're, They're fucked. sick. That's some sick shit, bro. I mean, but at the end of the day, they probably thought it was like, I got a little call for some shit. Yeah, and that shit just started. Motherfuckers brought the fucking death upon everybody, mm-hmm. bro. That shit's wild, bro. Bro, did you hear about um the shit in Antarctica? What? There's fucking flowers growing over there. What flowers? There's flowers growing in Antarctica. Like where? In the ice? Yes. They're, start- they're, they're starting to see flowers growing in Antarctica. How is that possible? Like it's coming out of the ice. Yes, it, it's Wait. like you're seeing grass. But like Antarctica used to be like freaking what's it called? It used to be like green. Like you know that, right? And then that shit has been frozen for years. I don't know what's under that motherfucker, bro. That shit's crazy. So I'm saying, but look, that shit's been frozen for fucking years, mm-hmm. and now all of a sudden it's flowers. Now is that bad? Is that scary? That is very bad, my boy. Is that global warming, bro? At its finest. Is it global? <sighs> That's bad, Because, bro. bro, look, now there's barely any fucking ice for these fucking penguins and shit. These motherfuckers are going to be in straight-up water. Hey, them them killer whales about to be feasting. Basically. That shit's shitty. They finna be thriving. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying. That's not good, bro. They're going to start having pods over here, bro, in Jersey. You know it's going to be what crazy? Like, when the icebergs start breaking off and start causing, like, waves yeah, and shit Yeah, that's what like I'm that. saying. Bro, I heard there was, like, a big-ass iceberg the size of Florida that was about to break off. And if that shit breaks off, the sea level's gonna rise up. Yeah, I think, like, like, like 2 3%. Yo, imagine an iceberg the size of Florida, cuz. It's just wild, bro. Nigga, imagine just driving through, through three hours of ice, bro. That's OD, bro. And you still not even gonna make it to the end. That's what I'm saying. Antarctica is huge, I'm bro. Telling you, that shit's... Cr- that shit, that shit's really, that shit's really mind opening. Cause like you gotta really take take accountability for what we that do. that time in New York has that mm-hmm. that clock. Like you got until twenty fifty to really make a change from global. Is that shit still less, on though? Yes, I, I didn't know it was on. You got to twenty fifty to make a change. If you don't, we're just you just fucked from global warming. Honestly, bro, I think I feel like that shit's. Nah, I'm not gonna say global warming because of meth. I think that's crazy. I just think. Cause you gotta really think about all the life that's really is gonna affect mm-hmm. on that on that fucking continent. Cause then a lot of the life is gonna end up uh, moving to different places. Yeah. Or a lot of them gonna go stay like the polar bear. Yeah. No motherfuckers not finna swim there to fucking over here. Yeah. It's a possibility though. Never fucking. You never know, bro. I seen the most crazy shit, bro. Yeah. You know. Hey, survival the fittest, bro. No I mean, I know they're not on fishes, but I literally seen. I don't know why I'm comparing them, but I literally seen sharks fucking. Cross the ocean for just to fucking meet, bro. That's a horny ass shark. That's what I'm lie. saying. They cross all the way these eyes just to meet up at an island to go meet, bro. That's sick. I'm not gonna lie. Just imagine you're on a journey to go get some coochie. That's like that's like that's you wonderful for them. <laughs> but I know niggas have done that. Niggas niggas <laughs> flown from like here to Tokyo to go get some coochie, bro. Hey, bro, that's their business. That's their business. <laughs> that's, business. that's od, bro. That's their business. Hey, bro. I don't. Hey, bro, I don't know, man. I just think. I just think. With what we do, I feel like it's irreversible, bro. Especially what it is now. Yeah, it's really hard because like I think they're making doing it better with like all the electric cars and shit like that. I think it's getting better. I mean, yeah, but, but you never know. It's 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 really hard because like a lot of people got accustomed to 
Like, like cars really started going busting in like what, the eighteen hundreds? Nah, I think the first car was like nineteen hundreds, like nineteen thirty. Really? I thought it was probably like eighteen something. Like made the first car. Maybe like eight, early, maybe late eighteen. Late eighteen hundreds, something like, like 1890s. that. Eighteen nineties. Well, n- early nineteen hundreds should probably start really getting popular. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like the the amount of years it took of like that from that build up to now. You gonna need that amount of years again for motherfuckers to get accustomed to electric cars now. Yeah, because everybody got everybody and their mother got fucking uh, gas cars. Yeah. And what you gonna do about the third world countries? But I don't think gas cars are gonna go out out because I feel like the, the them companies really be really be like like stopping shit. Like like yo, if you 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 affecting our bread, yeah, it's the it's the it's gas over. company. The gas company is big as fuck. Because think about it, they if, got the oil ridges and all that shit. That's part of it, right? Mm-hmm. But like I heard niggas be saying like oil is getting scarce, but niggas find oil everywhere. They just try to say like they try to scare niggas to say oil is going down so they can raise the the gas I prices. See, I see some weird shit. I think it was like some third world country. It was like some little some crazy video. It was like a fucking river of oil. Mm-hmm. Like it was like producing oil or some weird shit. That's what I'm saying. Like there's no like we this planet is huge. There's no way there's not no oil coming out from anywhere. Wait, is oil can is oil like a like a natural? It's like a natural gas, like natural resource, whatever. Resource. Yeah. So the earth produces that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like there's no like you just gotta find it, bro. It was just a black fucking thick ass oil and liquid, bro, just coming out like a fucking stream. I'm like, what the fuck? That's is what I'm this? saying. I don't know why these gas prices be going up, bro. There's no way we run out of oil. There's literally no possible way. They, there can't be no way. There's no way in this world. They, see, they got all these ra- these random oil rig- rigged ridges and shit in these fucking oceans and shit. I don't. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know how them shits like are stable. Yeah, or operate like how the fuck do you trans- like you get boats to come over? You get they they, they collect the oil and then they just go back out. Like, is that what probably? They do? I think so. Working on that shit got me scared. But bro. low key, I I don't think it's that bad because I think I think you only work to like like six six. To eight weeks at a time, so after that, after there's six eight weeks done, then you get a break for like another six to eight weeks, and then you go back out there. I remember seeing a fucking, I think it was like a fire that shit happened. Oh yeah, if you yo, I ain't gonna lie, if some shit bad happens out there, you're fucked. Oh, you're done, ski. Like even if you get in the water, you're you might be done up. Nigga, you know how high that motherfucker is? It's not even that. Like even if you do land in the water, like the oil spills on top of the water, nah. and then the flames on top of the water. Oh yeah, you're fucked. That's ass. <laughs> That's so ass, bro. A man can't even get a breath of water, bro. Nigga, breath of air. You breath of fire, bro. That's a shitty way to die, bro. Nah, that really is. Imagine, yo, that really is. You're you're in water, right? And then on top of you is a fucking. It's just oil on top of you with fucking fire, bro. So now you're getting burnt and so, drowning. So now, nah, so if you come up for air, you're gonna try. You're breathing in flames, and then you go underwater. You're breathing it's just in a water? back and forth for just fucking <laughs> a back and forth torture. <laughs> I think I just named the new torture method. That sounds wicked, bro. Hope none of you weird niggas is gonna try that shit. Nobody, bro. That's fucking weird. But yo, you got any topics you want to talk about? You remember you told me if you got any uh, on your phone you want to talk about before I got this one question to ask you. Um, I remember I reading about this um this story about this um is Chinese it's like some Chinese it's like a little like a little um like some little harsh it's like a little um like a poem. Yeah. It's like if you read it. Is that the one where you might fucking die? If you read yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, nah. Don't read that shit. Nah, I ain't gonna read it. That's about I think okay. you gotta read it by yourself in like in like the dark or some shit. Really? Yeah, but basically it's like the story goes like this little girl, um, she was with her brother or some shit. Yeah. And some nigga killed her or some shit. And um when she died her sister like tried to rescue her. Like they can't. She came. She saw her sister and her brother. And when her sister died, fucking uh, she was like screaming at her sister. Like, but like she heard a voice, but she's dead. That like um, like she's like saying like saying crazy shit to her or whatever like that. And it, it it like goes with a poem. Like if you read it, you die within like a couple days. Really? Yeah. You said it's, it's like Chinese or Japanese. Uh, it's in. I think you gotta. You can read it either or, but you have to like. Um, Where's it from? Is it from China or Japan? Do you remember? I think it's from. I don't know. One of those. I think it might be China, or Japan. Either either or. That's old. But you have to bro. read. You have to read it in your head, because if you read it out loud, that's when you activate it. Oh really? Yeah. Did you ever? Did you see the poem? Yeah. Did you read it? I, in was, your head? I was. I was reading it a little bit. Nah, was, you're wild, bro. That shit was so weird, bro. Really? Like. They basically they really insist like if you read it, you're gonna be cursed. That's bad. So yo, what do you think that is for real? Like, do you think that's like paranormal or do you think that's just like spiritual? I feel like those are real shits out there that like if you read this, 
you're going to be fucked. That's what I'm saying. But it's like, how does that, like, what in the universe is making that happen? Is it like a demon going to try to I, kill me? I really believe it's some demon shit. Like, he just picks who he wants to fucking have some crazy shit. Oh, that's so bad, Like, have, have connection with, bro. That's, yo, imagine, yo, that's scary as hell, bro. It, 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 it always, it, it's always, like, innocent type of people that, that ever, that always get some bullshit done to mm, them too, bro. Yeah. Always, it's always a story about some little girl or some shit, bro. That's so bad, bro. Like, that's, a, nah, it's like, uh, you know, a lot of, like, like, especially, like, Asian countries believe in a lot of shit like that. Like, that's why a lot of Asian. I ain't gonna hold you. A lot of Asian people, I think they got the they got the real horror. Bro, they really, there. they yo, out there, bro, it's really bad. Because, you know, that's why a lot of Asian people, like, we really quiet people and we really mind our business because shit really go left out there, I, bro. I will guess, bro. Bro, I, I, like, it's always, I always read some creepy shit that always is related to something out there, bro. It's either, it's either Japan. It's, it's, it's always the islands, though. It's not like it's mainland China. Creepy pasta is always some story related to them. Motherfuckers. Like, it's either Japan, like, it's never like China. It's always the islands. That's like away from the mainland and shit like that. Always, always one picture, and, a, and then you read about it as a creepy ass background behind it. Like, bro. like I'm telling you, like every Filipino has like, so, like if you have a, if you, if you Filipino, bro, let me know in the comments, because all the Filipinos always have like either aunt or uncle that have a scary story behind it. Like my mom has a lot of scary ghost stories that she has that she experienced when she was a kid. Like I think I, I definitely talked about this um a while ago, but I'll bring it back up again. So when my aunt was so this is my aunt when she lived in Oregon, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I told you about this. I might have. But so when she lived in Oregon, she was babysitting her little niece. And she was like two at the time. So it was just them two in the crib. And like her little niece used to play in one of the rooms, like the little guest rooms. And she'd be like, my Auntie Mara's like, oh, who are you talking to? She's like, oh, I'm just talking to my friend Brandon. She's like, See, my Auntie Mara's getting creeped out. No. Because I don't know the guy's name, but let's say his name is Brandon. My, my Auntie Mara's getting creeped out because she's like, Oh, maybe she's playing with her imaginary friends, but she's like really like like talking. Like one time she's like, Oh, look, he's right there. And then my was like, Yo, don't do that. Like, it's not funny. That's creepy. And then, right? So in that room, like she used to talk about in that room, she used to point in that room all the time, like, yeah, he's right there. And she used to get scared. And then they re they renovated the room. And you know, remember back in the days, niggas didn't put paint, they put a uh, wallpaper on? Yeah. They took the wallpaper out on the wall, it said Brandon was here. Bro. Like written out like scratch like this. Brandon was here, and my aunt was like so scared, bro. Oh nah, bro. And even um, back, like one of my now, uncles. How, how, how old was the was your um? My aunt. She was, your your was your little cousin. Or uh, her little niece. She was like two, two, two or three. Like she was able to speak like three, two, three, four, in, in that area. Man, I think, bro. I think the ghosts talk to the like the little kids a lot more than like niggas. Like I oh. heard about that shit. Like when they when they be speaking that little baby gibberish shit. Yeah, like I feel like they. Them, uh, ghosts be understanding them motherfuckers, bro. Like I feel like ghosts talk. Like I think kids and like maybe animals see ghosts a lot more than we do. Like I remember, I I believe it's more so to the. You think it's because the innocent minds? Yeah, yeah. I think innocent minds. I was gonna say that. I think the innocent they don't they don't know no better. And they don't, they're not so they, afraid. So they appear. So they they want to appear more to them. Cause yeah, because they, they're they not scared. My fault. I mean, be like ghosts. That's what I'm ghosts. saying. <laughs> and it's like, yo, even when I was a kid, bro, like I used to be afraid at my my Wawa's house. Like we they, we call ghosts like moo moos. Like we call them the, the moo moos. Moo moos. And, yeah. And I remember like they have a they have an attic, and there's like a so my aunt, my Wawa she lives she lives in Jersey City, and they have like a, a couple floors in their crib, and like the main top attic is like. It's type scary because it's like there's like a little you walk it's like a it's like a like a spiral staircase that goes like this and you walk up and then you walk into it and it's like a it's like a like a rectangle like this and on the left there's like a opening where there's like a closet and on the right that's where the bed is and if you look at that opening that shit just sounds fucking like a creepy setup bro, bro there's like a there's like a light where the opening is and there's like the um the closet like this so like if the like you can like sometimes I be thinking like somebody standing there like just standing there underneath the light like where because like, cause, oh, like a little just, opening oh no nah. like it's be creepy Yo. bro and like I remember my mom told me a story I guess one of her uncles back in the Philippines was driving down like he was like driving through the rice farms and shit like that and he was driving late at night or whatever and he seen a little girl on the side of the road and he pulled over like asked oh you need help or whatever girl turned around she had no face. Nigga, scare it off, bro. Back, backhand the fuck out that motherfucker. I am not backhand. Why would you backhand the ghost? I'm doing that. Wait, I why? Make, I need to make sure you're real. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, you gonna hit a ghost? Nah, I, I did as well. I swear to God. I'm gonna backhand. I'm gonna run. Nah, 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 nah backhand. Backhand is crazy. You got to, bro. You got to make sure. Like, you ain't, you ain't tripping. Nah, fuck that, bro. 
Like, remember, I think you told about ghost stories on this pod like two years ago. Like, have anything ever happened recently or not? Nah, nah, man. Well, like that you remember? I don't know if I was tripping. And no, I wasn't smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I was in, I was um in my back room. Yeah. And from the corner of my eye, bro, it was not my parents because he was downstairs and shit. I swear to God, I seen like a whole figure like was in, was in. Cause you know how um my mom my mom's little back room yeah it looks like the it's like and like, then the door right so I'm like sitting in front of my door and shit because I was about to smoke so I ain't started yet <laughs> I see like a figure corner of my eye like I'm like I ain't looking but in the corner of my eye because I can see some shit was like, like in, right yeah, there silhouette. bro yeah yeah like a silhouette and it's staying there soon as I see that shit go this I'm nah. like this no way my boy. And this was a couple of days ago, actually. Really? It was a couple of days ago? Nah, bro. Not a couple. Ooh. My shit. See. Nah, not a couple of days ago, cuz. Sunday. Sunday? I was just chilling. I swear you stood in my corner of my eye. Like the silhouette, the black silhouette just stood there. See, I ain't gonna lie, bro. There be sometimes I told, I, yo, I, I really got main character syndrome, bro. I be, I be in the crib sometimes, it be mad dark. And like I be thinking, like I remember, yo, I'm, I'm a sick nigga, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a sick nigga. I remember I was about to take a shower, right? So like the lights flickered off, it flickered on and flickered off. Like it went off, and then it went back on, and then it went off and went back on. And I, I was like, what the fuck? But I, I just thought like I had too much shit plugged in. I walked in, like my, my room went out because sometimes it, like th- this side of the house goes out sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right. But then in my head, I'm like, yo, what if it's what if a demon's coming out? I was like, I got it. This is my time to fuck this shit, fuck niggas up now. Oh, and I came in here. I was like, if I walk out there, see some shit, I'm not gonna be. I can't be scared. And I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fight the demons, literally, <laughs> bro. I was, literally, that's what I was thinking. Bro. I was, I was ready. I had a whole. He was getting ready. He I was like psyching this. myself. I'm like, all right, bro. It might be time. This is your time to shine. Bro. I be bro, thinking, it, like, it be like that though. But sometimes hey. I don't be fighting them, bro. I just let it. I just let them win. <laughs> I just let them win, bro. Nigga, you good? You need a hug, bro. I just let Nigga, them let win, the bro. demons win. I let the demons win, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Tell me, bro. The one time I really I, I know I let the demon win, bro, is when I sat down in front of my TV, and while the claws were just <laughs> making noise, I just stood there for the next two hours in fear, playing my game. <laughs> Didn't move, bro. I just waited for that shit. I waited for that shit to go away, bro. Hell no, cuz. Two um, hours, bro, of hearing some shit like that, bro. Nah, cuz I can't, bro. You you a real better nigga than me, bro. But I don't I, know. I don't know how, bro. I don't know how, bro. And it, it was crazy to me because my dogs never reacted, bro. They just and sc- like they were scared. They just too? stared at the fucking closet, bro. That's what made it worse. I'm like, you niggas ain't even going to bark. Y'all niggas go to the go- window. Y'all niggas going to stay in fear <laughs> like me. <laughs> Y'all niggas is crazy, bro. Oh God, bro. Y'all niggas right, are crazy. Bro. I got I got another question for you, right? So choose one movie to live in for the rest of your life. So the Hunger Games. Halloween, Wally, or The Purge? Um, I'm taking a Halloween. Halloween? <gasps> nah, I don't know, cause you said, I, wait, you said to to live in there for the re- like that. You gonna live in that universe for the rest of your life? I'm not living in Halloween. Okay. I don't think I could do the Hunger Games. Then up for that. It's not like you're in the Hunger Games every year, but like you're just living like poor as shit. No, and you might get picked. Nah. <laughs> I could potentially live in Wally. You, but you gonna be fat. You that fat as be, fuck. That might be lit. See, I don't gotta be fat though. You are. No, all the niggas was fat, <laughs> and they lived not. They they literally lived in a deserted world, bro. And they lived above the world. Yeah, but see, see now they. Yeah, but don't forget the end move. They came back to Earth. So now they about to get fit again, bro. Nigga, they 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 basically not gonna live that long, bro. They go, they all got twenty years max. Wally or the Purge? Yeah, the Purge. That might be the most simplest one, if anything, because you could probably you could dead ass finesse a night. You could go dead ass go sleep in the most randomest fucking place. Jordan, that shit's every night. Every no, that's every once a year, every year for the rest of your life. Oh, you said the universe, the whole universe, cause I'm good for for the one night for the rest of my life. That's what I'm saying. Like, like you don't think, yo. I ain't gonna lie, cuz I think niggas might be after you, cuz I don't know who gonna be after you. I don't know who gonna be after you. Bro, I'm doing a Wally, bro. Wally's the, the most comfiest one, bro. Wally, though. I'm gonna live my life as a fucking fat fuck on a chair, bro. Oh, you gonna be a fat motherfucker yeah, on that a chair? One, I'm gonna get got by Michael Myers. Nah, I'm not doing that one. Wait, no, I might be. I might do that one, cuz he don't come for everybody. Bro, but like, 
<laughs> you gonna take your chances with that? What am I? I'm not gonna mess with him. If I see him, like, I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah, fuck. bro. Nah, bro. You he catch I'm you. Like, when his, hello. He, once he catch you in his his scythe, bro, his clips for you, bro. You just definitely, you just definitely just looking at him, bro. But I, right, I right, let's think about it. In the Hunger Games, I'm just a broke nigga. And then now, what if you get now? Now you get picked. But you gotta think about now it. Now you gotta worry you, about. They, they was only for. They was only kids doing it. Yeah, but don't forget, bro. They was only kids. Yeah, but look, bro. Don't we forget, not kids no more. Because then look, it's either you going dead ass dying that shit, right? I would. That's a shitty life. <laughs> you gonna die in that shit, and if you do win, now you gotta compete again. But like you know, but like some people don't get picked. You know what I'm saying? Like some people don't get picked for the rest of their life. They just live a shitty life. <laughs> yeah, but then don't forget Cadmus everything, right? Yeah, they won. Mm-hmm. Then they had to fucking do it again. But like, then they, they had to do it again. But what I'm okay, they did that because she she's like the the whole revolutionary whatever fuck. But I'm saying is they only like you only you have to there's an age limit. Like once you hit 18, you good. Oh, for real? I think. Cause I don't remember no. It was only kids that was doing it until it still was a seventy five annual one. Unless, but, bro, but like, like you gotta remember that world is type shitty. That though. is shitty, bro. Like you really broke as fuck, bro. Like especially if you living in sec, uh, District Twelve, the miners, them niggas literally <laughs> have District a, Twelve is the worst, bro. Yeah, District Twelve. There's one the. They're, they're, them niggas is fucking racist. Why the why the harvest? Why is the one with all the black people the one where they're farmers like slaves and shit? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> what district was that? That's like District Five. That's what I, that was um with Rue, right? Yeah, like district she was like the harvester, the harvest where they crazy, bro. That's wild, bro. Why they're all the crazy, black bro. people they walking said, around like slaves and shit? Nah, this is the real ghetto over here. <laughs> like this I would, the ghetto. and like you have to be during the revolution. Imagine being part of the revolution. All right, bro. you know I could do that though. Wally, I don't want to be fat. Bro, but you don't got to worry about nobody killing you, bro. I mean, I guess, but like, that's a, they're literally living on a deserted world. See, bro, look, it's your choice to be fat, though. What you mean? They wouldn't. They literally couldn't move. Cause they made. Cause they turned fat. All they got to do is get off the chair and start walking, bro. <laughs> bro, they literally. They were all. They were all forced to be on that chair. I think. Nah. There's no way everybody was fat. That one person was skinny. Yeah, but then everybody. Yeah, but then everybody got a. They got off the chair. And got they you seen them go and move like roly polies and shit? Yeah, but then someone was stepping and shit, bro. So they was you, like, oh, now, now you they gotta, was hella happy and now, shit. Now you gotta walk fucking. Now you gotta walk a mile a day, bro. Nah, you gotta walk, bro. You can't even. Right, run I, I pick Wally, then I guess Wally's the easy one. If y'all pick Wally, you if weird you as be, fuck. If you want to be complicated without the Wally, yeah. What if I take I'm Wally picking, out? I'm of picking there? Purge. If I take Wally out of there, you go pick the Purge. I'm picking Purge. I'm, I'm, nah, I'm picking Hunger like, Games, bro. Cause I'm, I'm just gonna be a broke nigga. I can't pick Halloween because I just the fear of that nigga might hunt me down, and the way I know he might do me. Yeah, no, nah, I'm. Cool. I just the I, purge. I'm just afraid, nigga. First of all, we are pretty. We have we have a pretty big platform, so niggas might come after us. And the thing is, right? People might be weird. Exactly. And try some crazy shit on you just because it's the purge. Like, exactly. Yo, it's fucking Let's dragging do- by his feet. By the back of our car. And let's do it. Let's let's record <laughs> and make a podcast with a dead body. Like, no, I don't want that. Nigga, we have hundreds of I millions that, of people bro. that know our face. Bro, if we get the flea to, to, to gather up for the purge, yo, we set, bro. Nigga, one of us is gonna die. That's gonna be We going we gonna we are we gonna are we gonna purge? Are we gonna purge? I'm gonna say my man Jakai gonna go. Why Jakai gotta die, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said Jakai gonna die, bro. That's Jakai crazy, might be the bro. first, bro. Respectfully. Alright, bro. No, respectfully, Jakai love you, bro, but Hey, you, might just, you might just have to be bait, bro. I, wow. <laughs> Nigga said he's just, he's just gonna leave him out. Because I was gonna say ish, but like, bro, I I, I, I was I, let me not underestimate my man, bro. He got some little he got some little force behind him. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Jakai too sweet, bro. Niggas is crazy. Niggas <laughs> gonna use him as a sacrifice <laughs> to get more kills. He's too sweet, bro. We gonna play that shit like Call of Duty, like like Warzone. No, we have to, bro. We gonna we gotta move. We're gonna really fucking die. We gotta rob or swap. <laughs> truck or some shit bro. we're gonna die <laughs> we're gonna we're not living that i need people to be certain certain men. i need someone to be the demolitionist guy you feel me and i need this guy to be like the 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 interrogator shit bro i'll be interrogator i'm good at negotiation you see bro see you can be an inter- nah, interrogator bro. you just gonna be the the, the brute strength bro <laughs> we always put that nigga for moving shit but all right i got one last question before we end this pod bro so if i give you a button if you press that button, you get one hundred million dollars. But as soon as you press that button, you will be kidnapped and taken to a random spot in the country, and you have a month to try to get back home, and you have no bread. <laughs> but when I go back home, I get the money. 
Yeah, once you go back home, you get the money. But if, say you say you can't get there, like say you can't get home within the month, you won't get no bread and you're stuck out there. Do you think you could do it? I can do. I get. I pick my own place. Pick your own. Pl- no, no, it's a random spot in the country. In in United States. United States. You gotta think about it. There is Hawaii. And Alaska. But I'm not gonna lie, if it's if it's like Hawaii, nah, you're fucked. I'm not gonna lie, you're fucked. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like any place I could be set, bro. I'm gonna be like, yo, listen. I'm here. You get me home, find me your find me your your, your cheapest flight somewhere. Pay for it, and I got you when I get back home, my boy. Who's gonna believe you? <laughs> Who the fuck is gonna believe you? Niggas gonna look at you like you an idiot. That's the thing, bro. Nobody gonna be like, bro, what? Nobody's gonna give you a free flight to back home. Like you could, like you could figure out. Like imagine they drop you off in the desert. See, like fucking Arizona. Imagine they drop you off in Arizona. Imagine they drop you off in fucking Alaska. You're fucked, bro. Like there's no way to get back out of there, bro. Imagine they drop you off in like. I don't know the swamp. Oh nah, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta find, gotta find your peoples and be like, yo, listen. I mean, I can. F- if I, if I even gotta start small for like a good, to work a paycheck or two, <laughs> somewhere, bro, to get a plane ticket. That's All what I'm right. saying. But like, what if they? I'm just saying, like, they could drop you off in a national park. You don't know where the fuck you at. They could drop you off in a. Imagine they drop you off in a forest, cause in one of them big ass forests. Yes, and you don't know where. To, imagine they drop you off in the Rocky Mountains. How the fuck are you gonna get down? I'm just, there's deadest place like that out in the United States. That's what I'm saying. And I got no, no I got nothing. On no me. bread. Just, just, just you can, the, the, the stars. I'm just know. hoping they drop me off in a place where it's close to a town. And if I can figure out where I'm at, uh, I can I can go accordingly. Nah, I mean, we gotta make this difficult. They gonna drop you off somewhere in, in the middle of, of nowhere. Of nowhere. The, the nearest town, 500 miles. All right, bro. Is that is that is, is that is that too close? Nah, that ain't, ain't too bad. That ain't too crazy. Nah, seven fifty miles. Seven <laughs> fifty? Nah, I'm just saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm guessing. That's actually far as that's shit. That's far as fuck, my nigga. That's like seven fifty. That's like that's like you gotta, North Carolina. You gotta survive on your own for for like a month. That's what I'm just saying. I can. I think I could do it, but I just need. I, I just need to. I have to act fast though. Like I have to be quick. Like wherever I am, I'm sprinting. You going? But like that's a, that's an issue. Now you don't know where you're sprinting. I know. I'm just, I'm just hoping I don't get. Like, what if you did as like my, my shit's thinking like I feel like niggas gonna drop me off in a random ass like, like trail fucking forest shit. Uh huh. In a in a big one, and I'm gonna be like, see that's the shit with a forest, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'll be scared as fuck. I'm done. Cause it's just straight up fucking trees, 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 and not knowing where the fuck you're going. And then you are gonna be like, hold on, my nigga, there's a bear somewhere in here. <laughs> Nigga said a bear. <laughs> nigga gonna get me, bro. Yo, what the fuck, bro? Nigga said there's a there's a bear afoot. <laughs> nah, there's a bear. I know there's a bear. There might be like what? A big... no... Nah, not big for hell no, hell no. But you gonna do it though for a hundred million dollars? I'll do it. Bro. I think I do it. I think. Wait, but that's actually scary as shit. Now that I'm actually really thinking about it. I know you have no money. You just got whatever I have you have. No connection, nobody. I'm just dropped off in the middle of fucking nowhere. nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Because that shit could take me a fucking minute. Exactly. And it I could, could take, die. You there, could die. I could die in that process. That's what I'm saying. I just need to find where there's people, and I could just either try to work a job or just hitchhike. I think I remember seeing some shit where a motherfucker got stranded in the Grand Canyon. How the fuck? Wait, how the fuck you get stranded? You could get lost in that shit. I know, but like, don't you gotta follow trails and shit? I, I, I'm That's assuming shitty. now they got because I heard the only way he survived. His dog rescue. He was with his dog. Really? His dog dipped off on that nigga. And then his dog like found help? Found and came back with somebody. Oh, that's a realest nigga alive, that's bro. That's some real shit right there, That's bro. a realest nigga alive, bro. bro that nigga like, got lost in the Grand Canyon. That must be shitty, bro. Because like, the shit was, this motherfucker gave his dog his last word and then the dog just dipped. He was like, bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, bro. That's that's a real nigga, though. Say, so what if they drop you from the drink in the Grand Canyon? You straight? I might be straight because you I, know I don't know how big that shit is. It's huge. I remember when I think because there's parts of Grand Canyon you can't go to for real. I think when we flew to Cali, I think we seen that shit, right? Nah, we didn't. I don't think we flew that way. We flew like north side or like through like the middle. So I don't think we went through. What like else south. is a big ass fucking park? Motherfuckers are probably dropped on the Wait, fucking Arizona got like Great Basin, whatever, and like the Ar- the giant park in like Wyoming. Arizona dead has got like deserts. Yeah, it's like a desert out there. 
There's a, like real. I'm just saying, if I can find a I crib, that, that could be the worst place to ever be put. Be put in. Hell yeah, with no nothing. I'd rather know. be put in the cold than be put there. Um, uh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think the I desert could, or like the fucking freezing cold or like the top of a mountain. Nah, I'm taking the desert because at least I could live a little bit longer. Because at the top of the mountain, I'm probably gonna die within hours. Yeah. If, especially if I don't have that much clothing on. I think that, I, and I think the cold is just gonna make me mad. Like fuck, bro. This nigga's just gonna get angry and just start fighting himself. Bro, because my shit is right. You in the desert now, and I heard it gets cold as fuck at, at night. night. Yeah. And then you go worry about fucking little wolves and coyotes. I heard that like that's, that's some real common shit happen at night mm-hmm. in the desert. Like that's a fucking. I seen coyotes in um when we was at Cali. Yeah, I forgot where I, I was driving somewhere. I think I was I just went on a drive because I was bored. And I was driving. I seen he was like eating. It was like a pack of them eating out of a garbage can. I'm like, nah, this is OD. A pack. It was like it was like two or three. They're not even that big, but they're just they're like dogs, but like they're vicious dogs. So I'm like, they bite they bite you. That shit gonna fucking hurt. No, nah, yeah, that shit gonna that shit might rip your flesh. Bro. Yeah, no, nah, I'm cool, rip. bro. But you got anything else you want to talk about, my brother? Nah, I man, you straight, man. Hey, man, thank you again for pulling up for another podcast, my brother. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for tuning into another episode of No Records Podcast, episode 108. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We got a whole lot of fun things coming this month. Halloween, one of the best times of the year. You know what I'm saying? Halloween, that's why we got the orange on. That's pumpkins. You know what I'm saying? Happy Halloween, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Happy holidays, all that shit, all month long. We got new things. We got new videos coming out, new game shows coming out, new things. We got new content coming out on the YouTube channel and the Patreon. So subscribe to the Patreon if you want new ch- new content and new podcasts and more talks with the guys. You know what I'm saying? Any last words, my brother? Stay clean, stay fresh, stay blessed. Real shit, bro. We different than regular no records, man. Gangsta. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it.